Primer has started. Hey there. Oh, I'm waiting. I've got a I've got a stopwatch going right now. <laughs> stopwatch is going. No one's grabbed it so far. <laughs> what? It's out of stock? No, it can't be out of stock. Nobody's grabbed it. The fuck? Poofy. Oh man, what the fuck? Oh, that's... I am first and best is out of stock. What the fuck? It's out of stock. <laughs> oh. He thinks it's because the stream restarted yesterday. When did it restart? Oh, shit. Do you remember around when? Fucking hell. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. We. Oh! <laughs> what? How did it Dread Joker out of nowhere! What? <laughs> it it did not come up. Dread, congratulations! You uh, this is the beginning of your streak. <laughs> Yeah, because I checked it on my end, and it also showed uh, out of stock. So I'm like, okay, sure, that's fine. How did you get it, Dread? Rico, 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 Rico. How you doing, bud? How's it going? Ah, oh, Dread, thank you for that dancing baby. I, I do fucking love that dancing baby. I'm going to have to ask um, my husband if I can, like, rent that dancing baby from him for my channel I really like it except mine would have to have like glasses drawn on it or something hi crow how are you oh I like that one that one's cute you you have used Annie's emotes previously you introduced me to her. I... I'd never seen her before. Um... Is this the right person? Let me double check. Yeah! I like her channel. It's pretty cool. Thank you for introducing. I... Um... I ended up taking the dogs out. Like, I, I was smart. So I went ahead and I took the dogs out early. And I was like, okay, I'll be able to get at least five hours sleep. Maybe six if I'm lucky. Hopefully eight. They'll, they'll just sleep right through. Um, took me a while to fall asleep. Finally fell asleep. I woke up at uh, 10. So like already, like I, I am not feeling my best. I did just get up from a nap, like a... It was like a two-hour nap. I do not feel rested at all. I told Queeb I'm ordering pizza. And he's like, yeah, sure, whatever you want. I'm like, shit, now I feel like a dumbass. Like, now now I just feel like, like, like some creepy boss bitch. I just want some comfort food. Stephanie, did you just hear that whole exchange that went down? I, before we went live, I checked the chat. Murder wasn't there. Uh, double M double three isn't there. So I'm like, okay. But Cat is, so Cat's going to grab it. So I literally started a timer, <laughs> ran the timer to see if he would grab it. And he's like, it's out of stock. I checked. It was out of stock. 
And then Dread Joker comes in from out of nowhere, starting his very first I am first and best marathon ride, which that's totally going to happen. He's now going to grab it every single time. I guarantee it. It's going to be a fight to the death for that. Hey, Moo, how are you? Frost, yo. Um, I don't... F I don't feel sick. Like, I, I have a pretty good awareness of, of my body. Um, I don't feel sick. I just feel very tired and very... Um, very stressed out. Ooh. Here's here's how stressed out I am. Uh, Loaf tried eating the love seat, so I stood the love seat up on its end so he couldn't reach it. Yeah, like I'm just. Mm -mm. Um, he hasn't been out very much today. He he has been a tyrant. Um. So I don't know if uh, if he's just having a bad day, if he's going through his uh, another puppy growth spurt. No, thank you, Stephanie. Claim it. Claim it. Because Double M, he got it the first twelve or thirteen days, and then Cat has, or and the murder grabbed it two days, and when murder was gone, Cat has grabbed it, and now Dread. Oh, show me, show me, show me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm, I'm in the process of coming up with my own stream, and I know how hard it is to come up with like literally everything. Um. I don't even have like a theme, so it's very difficult for uh, for me to figure out what kind of emotes to use um, because I'm not an artist, so I can't just draw my own emotes. Um, I want snake emotes. <laughs> I don't know how how to make how to make a snake emote work with a booty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure something out. Just draw them. <laughs> All of my emotes could just be just, just like, like scratch drawings. <laughs> just like chicken scratch. I'll, I'll absolutely do it. You don't understand. Like I, I will take, I will take an in joke, to the furthest degree possible. Absolutely. I call myself a bean all the time, so I know if I ever did it, it would be beans and cats. Beans and cats and 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 cats and beans and cats and beans and cats and beans and cats and beans. Zoe's just staring at me like, what the fuck? Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and... What? What's the other one? It's like boots and something? Is it... It's not boots and cats, right? Boots and cats and boots and cats. I'm scared. Chris, look at the sexy steaks! Like, seriously looking at sexy steaks? Or he's looking at snakes. Also, is that a euphemism? <laughs> Does he want a snake? <laughs> yes! Please! <gasps> Such a kinister! Welcome. You have, you have blessed us with your presence. Thank you, sir. I, uh, I got to thinking more about it. I think, like, baby Archie is two, two months. Yeah, he's like, he's like nine weeks old. I, I really think that I'm going to hold off on getting another snake, uh, until they're, they're all around a year old. I think the only way I would make an exception is if, uh, if I found one that I was really in love with, that, uh, I, that was older, that was actually like a, you know, like an adult. I love the babies. They're just so feisty. What? <gasps> eh? Uh, what, what, hold, 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 hold on. I'm I'm having a I'm a, having a brain thing. 
Uh, oh, fucking hell. Well, Gail Waters Waters. That, that's, that's the character's name. What's, who's the person's name? Chris. Chris Fleming. Someone posted a Chris Fleming video. In Discord. And I'm, ah. Uh, oh, I love Chris Fleming. He's amazing. Do we know if McQueeb watched a speed run of Manifold Garden? Quebus, did you watch a speed run of Manifold Garden? No, not yet. He posted it in Disco. Place hold. Frost, where did you get it from? Frost knows the culprit of the COVID. I want to know. Let's go. Oh, oh, that that is. I want you. That's what he looks like. He's saying, "I want you." He he's got some cheeks, don't he? Them some cheeks. I mean, I mean, I I Stephanie, I can't blame him. Them some cheeks. <laughs> you got it in Detroit? From where? Like who? 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 When I was up there for work, my colleague let me... Son of a fuck. God damn it. Cool, cool. There's a couple of glitches without glitches. Is... Is there a... I, do, I, I know nothing about the game other than what I told you guys and briefly what I saw. Here's my thought processes. Ooh, it's a pretty game and it's puzzles. I like that. He should do it. Right? Is the is there like 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 a 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 community behind that game too? Like, I don't know. Is it as big as Isaac? Is it maybe not as big, but like like plentiful? Ah, I'm so sorry, Frost. He doesn't miss Wiggle Day. Motherfuck, that's really cute. God damn it, Chris. God damn it. Queeb, did you play below? Uh, so he is in the bathroom and I heard muffled through the door. No, it was an Xbox exclusive for a while. I mean, it used to make people partners. Really? Queeb likes puzzle games so much more than he loves. He, he really, like, he really likes figuring things out. Like, I'm a problem solver from birth. Like, I can read between the lines and, and like, I'm, I'm all about solving problems and figuring shit out and making people's lives easier. And I have to, like, reel it back because I know it's overbearing. The only person who does it harder than I do is him. And it's because he's like very much a, uh, any, any kind of puzzle, any kind of anything, if you can spark an interest in him, he, it, it, it's a long ride. That's when you get like the, the streams until 9 a.m. and, uh, or him sometimes jumping on early. He, he's definitely like, not only does he enjoy the puzzles, he's really good at them too. You are a Solic Isaac player. It's 1k viewership. Now so many people stream and so many games to stream. I've had a lot of people ask like, what kind of games I would play. I don't, and I know that th this is all Altern alternate to the advice that I gave the other night, I don't think I would stream one consistent game just because I'm that's that's not me. Like I have I have ADHD, unmedicated, so no, I I think I would just like play whatever because I would want the focus to be on building a community, um, and if that means that I stay small, then I'm I'm cool with that. Because I have, I have my, my community and I have my snakes and people love my snakes. Hopefully people love me. Queeb absolutely has an engineering mindset. Now there, there are times when I'll see 
a a solution before he does, but it's very rare. Hey Pat, how are you? Thank you. Welcome welcome to the chat. We're glad you're here. By the way, you guys, it's day 28. We got 28, 29, 30, 30, four days left. <sighs> four days left. And you know he's going to do birthmas. You know he's going to do his own birthmas. It's going to happen. There's going to be a birthday subathon. He's probably going to start at May 1st, knowing him, and do the whole month. <sighs> That's like what? All of January, all of February, all of March, all of April. That's only four months away. I can't handle that. That's too soon. <laughs> That's too soon. I can't do it. <laughs> Fucking help. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Um, I will, I had a, a nap with Queeb earlier because I, I went to bed extremely late. And uh, I've been eating these... Ritz crisp and thins salt and vinegar chip thingies. They're fucking baller. I love them. Um, Loki working on channel stuff. Loaf has been in his kennel a, a kind of a long time today. I really don't care. I'm kind of like, I'm definitely pushed to my limit today. Um, and, uh, Zoe's hanging out there. Oh, and I did not, I have not feed baby. I have not fed the babies yet. Um, no, no dancing, no freaking out or, or begging for food. So no, no food, but, uh, maybe later today or tomorrow, but yeah, we will get some, uh, some baby videos out. I don't know how many I have left to do. Three. Is Casually in here? Casually is not in here. Is Icky in here? Icky is not. Yes, Zoe. Hi. Che is not in here. I love all of these these names. Like, you guys picked the coolest names for the snakes. Or for the rat redemptions. Uh, someone picked My Insecurities. Um, there's like Trabuco. I don't know what the fuck that is. And then someone said, Can I get eaten by a snake? So... <laughs> I think y'all are weird. I love it though. <laughs> Sleep. Sleep. Are you are you doing okay? Like you you and Frost both both got the both got the C word going on. I hate it for you guys, I'm sorry. There are some manifold community people pointing finding the secret areas on So is it just like I've never played the game. Is it one of those games where it, it's, uh, uh, what it, uh, shit, what's it called? Pro, pro, progression generated? Did I say that right? Progression generated? Like with, uh, uh like with, uh, uh, the N word? Procedure, thank you. Procedurally generated. Is it like that where it's like all different or is it basically the same game? Okay. My PCR came back negative. Yes. Let's have some weird flu plus tonsillitis. So, oh my God, that is amazing. I hope you get rid of every single last fucking drop in your system. Like get it out. Do we... Is is that tree stump a rockin'? Is that tree stump a rockin'? No. And poor Ripley. Poor Ripley's butt fat is just squeezing out the back of her tree trunk. Book the next couple of days off work, so just yes. Sleep it off. Get all that gunk out of your system. Oh my god. I'm so... Mwah, I'm so thankful. So thankful. Frost is next. We gotta get Frost taken care of. Huge levels and non... I can't say that word. I'm from Texas. Design makes for massive areas to be hidden. So last night when he was saying all of that stuff about like the game breaking, that kind of scared me off. Is... Were his issues, are they common with the breaking and whatnot? 
because like I'm I'm kind of interested. Don't mind me. I am loading up the uh as the kids would say the G O T D. Ah, fucking hell. Okay. All right. So that's going to be frustrating, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I will add that. I need to do a list. Yeah, I, actually, actually, I, I'm going to make a Google form. I'm going to be a nerd. I'm going to make a Google form and I'm going to ask people what games I should play. Yeah, we're, we're going to be that level of nerdy. That level of nerdy. Played it through a second time to do the alternate pathing. The last area was a bit too much work for me to try. It's if I do play it, it's it's going to be. Um, frustrating, I will absolutely have to use guides. Uh, Twitch. Game suggestions. Deranged, how are you? Look at that emote! Look at him! <gasps> He's a little drummer boy! Oh, I love him. He's he's perfect. He is he is absolutely perfect. I love him. Uh very drummer boy. All of these emotes that you guys are like showing me, I'm just, I'm stealing them for ideas. Just stealing them. I don't care. Creep should be here in about... We'll say less than 30. I'm going to say he will be in the chair before 7. I will not guarantee it because I know my husband, but he's going to try. Um, which means we will do hints in just a moment. By the way, if you have an emote that you are hiding from me that I have not seen yet, and it is fucking adorable, I need to see it, please. I need ideas. You have to give me ideas for my own channel, please. You have to. That's friendship rules. That's that's not me. That's friendship rules. All right. So let's go back. Let's do. There we go. Google form. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's cute. Hold on. Do you ever forget how to do emotes? Because I do. Fucking hell. Yeah, glitch cat. Yeah, okay. Disco fay. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's a duck, and I love it. You know what irritates me is that on my little user page, where it says like 999 plus messages, zero timeouts, zero mod comments, I have one ban because my own husband banned me accidentally. He's ruined my record. I feel awful. I feel like a piece of shit, but somehow I'll get over it. You, you don't remember that? <laughs> you were hovering over th you were trying to ban somebody else and you banned me and it was during the subathon and everyone freaked the fuck out because <laughs> you banned your own wife <laughs> and I was butthurt <laughs> I was so butthurt <laughs> Stephanie what oh <gasps> look at I, I do like the little chubby arms. Freeman's Queep. 
<laughs> please, please free me. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun being married to him because he forgets things that have happened. So with my ADHD, I can repeat stuff. And it's like the first time he's ever heard it. He's like, wait, what? I banned you? Yes, fucker, yes. Oh, what is he? Oh, was he a little, a little Grinch? Bitter bits. Oh, he's cute though. I like the creepy ones. Like the ideas I had were like uh, the uh, old school movie monsters. Except I'm not a Halloween channel. I'm not a Halloween channel. I'm not like, like we're not going to be talking about monster movies unless somebody brings it up. So I'm like, fuck, what do I do? But it's fine. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Zeus. Zeus, that's me and you right now. <laughs> that's me and you. <laughs> what? Shit. Oh man, I love it. It's it's. <laughs> that was stupid. I love it. Oh my god, it's it's perfection. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Launching my snip tool, and I'm just gonna snip that. Boop. And I'm gonna save that. Uh, emote ideas. Dot JPEG. Oh, that one's creepy as fuck. Look at him. He's perfect. Look at it, but I love it. Oh, and what's that? Shia pause. Like the the pause one. I'm in love. Who, who, who is this delight? Open that in a new tab. Okay, shower has started, which means we can start on hinge. Oh, by the way, you've got like 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So get, get a snack, get something to eat, flip over the laundry, start a load of laundry, you gross fuck. Maybe bag of chips, something like that. Give me a moment. I'm going to go uh, handle loaf, the pterodactyl, and I will be right back with hints. One minute, por favor. Of course, I walked past the candy bowl and I found one left. Don't look at my nails. If you look at my nails, you, uh, you hate women. Look at that. There's like one left. Of course, like all the fucking other ones, the regular ones, the ones with almonds, whatever, are all there. And it's just the orange ones are gone. But I got the last one. Okay. And of course, my Discord popped up to that fucking photo, the drawing that Sergeant Kenai uploaded with the cheeks. The snakey's cheeked out. All right. <clears throat> Do you know how difficult it is for me to actually tell you guys, like, to not say something like, hey, let's, uh, let's talk about uh, the manifold garden hints. Do you know how hard that is? <laughs> so I'm always like stumbling over my words because I don't want to reveal it. Um, okay. 
I don't know how to talk about this one. This one... It's an older game. And by the way, if I say it's like a recent game, when I say that, I mean it's within like like three to five years. When I say it's an older game, I mean it's like around 10 years or older, okay? Ed, your Chris Fleming video in in Discord, thank you. Because by the way, whenever uh, he did his Gale Waters Waters bit several years ago on YouTube, that whole series, loved it, fantastic, mwah perfection i love him i want to go see him in a time when there is no pandemic what is that deranged it's a it's a little it's a little devil he's cute i like him okay hold on whenever you guys like show me cool emotes not only do i pop open the the emote i pop open the channel so i can go spy on them He's perfect. I love it. I don't know who that is. Who is Lil Horn? Is that is that blasphemy with the binding of Isaac being on the screen right now? Did I just blaspheme? Oh, he's perfect. And I I love oh. See, I want I want him on a shirt. Fuck the sci fly. I want him on a shirt. Richard Hammer's emotes are made by Rom Falloon. Oh, he's half Falloon. I hope he's got like, I hope he's making bank or something because he deserves it. Uh, I don't know which channel. If you want emotes, this is a guy. Go to various custom designs starting at 50. Oh my god, that dra I don't know whose dragon heart that is, but I love him. Fucking hell. Y'all, stop giving me rabbit holes. God damn it. Stop it. Motherfucker. Okay. Please hold. I ha I'm like having to go through. I'm having to pause everybody. <laughs> I, 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 like, I, I, I don't play the game. I don't care. But that little fucker, the little horn guy, he's he's magical. If I had like a little stuffed one, I'd be so happy. I would be so happy. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Oh man, yeah, fuck. That's gonna have to be something I save up for. God damn it. Yeah. I wish I were an artist, but then again, I don't because it doesn't make me happy. Crow, I know, dude. All of my nails have been torn down to like the nail beds because of Lofus Maximus in there. Like, all of my fingers hurt. I've been taking like ibuprofen and Tylenol because they're just. They hurt because he's so damn rough. I need to go get my nails done, but I'm scared to because I'm scared he's going to rip my nails off. Okay. Hints. It's an older game. I like this game. I've never played this game. I've wanted to play it. It's a pretty game. It's interesting and it's pretty. So you guys already know what that means. That means that it's uh, story rich. You know that it 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 looks a little weird. It's like dark. It might be a little gothic. Good soundtrack. It probably has a very good vibe to it. Like I, I tend to like games that seem to be set in periods. Like I, I don't like a lot of modern games. Um, this one. Obviously, these are older screenshots. Um, I like the vibe. I can't tell you anything about these screenshots because it will absolutely give this game away. This, this is a game that is, um, that, that's loved. It's loved. Um, pop that open. In most. Oh. Oh, that looks creepy. Okay, 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 okay. 
redirect. Someone told me about Inmost. Inmost? I just popped it up. Like, it's beautiful. Hold on. Now let's go over here. Nah. Oh, ho, ho! Someone's getting packages from Twitch! No, I will get it whenever you come in here. Well, so this game looks pretty fucking cool. Okay, hold on. Quib wanted me to send that to him. Let me send it to him. And then we're gonna get some fucking hints down. ADHD is fucking railing today. This is what happens when I don't get a lot of sleep. Have you ever seen the Valkyrie games? Have I? Have I? Valkyrie. A lot popped up. Can you specify one of the game titles? Because it's also like, do you mean Valkyrie? No, I don't mean Valkyrie. I know I look up a lot of gaming stuff, but I don't mean Valkyrie. But thank you for suggesting. Tessa Thompson. We're just going to rebrand this channel to like the ADHD channel. ADHD zone. <laughs> That's... My theme cannot be everything. But, like, <laughs> that cannot be my theme. My theme cannot be everything. Valkyrie Profile is a series of role playing video games by Yoshiharu Gotanda. I don't know. Developed by Tri Ace and published at Square Enix. Notable for featuring elements from Norse mythology. Uh. Uh, we'll look up the go. Meanwhile, there are people tapping their toes. <gasps> Where are the hints, bitch? Give, give, give me time. Give me. I'm getting there. Y'all keep mentioning stuff, and I'm like, shit. I gotta at least open up a tab. So that one looks pretty cool. I'm gonna set that one aside. Let me go back to my my goddamn original tab. Okay, there we go. Okay. Are there any? <laughs> uh, murder is not in the chat. <laughs> Are you making sure that he's... <laughs> if anyone was going to guess it, he would guess it, right? He's very... There have been times where... I have said... I don't even remember what game it was, but I literally said, Okay, this is a newer game the the artwork it's it's very beautiful it's very colorful um i love it and he like he said the name and i'm like there is no way that you and queeb are not telepathically linked or anything because i'm not even using specific words you shouldn't have been able to get that okay <laughs> yes chat is good we love chat all right Deep breath. We're going to start over with the hints. I apologize. It doesn't help that Queep is encouraging me, so I will rein it in. All right. Starting over. This is an older game. We have tons of very positive reviews. And when I say that, I mean well over 15,000. Like, tons of good very positive reviews. Uh, the publisher. Can I say anything about the publisher? Do you want to load? What? You, you, do, you don't need to ask me for that info. I just want your, your list, sir. Okay, I don't know. 
convoluted is what I would say for the, the publisher. I can't get a straight answer. Um, screenshots, unfortunately, look like screenshots. Like normally, or at least lately, the screenshots for games, they look like artwork. Like you could literally use one of the screenshots as wallpaper for your desktop and you can't. Hey, I guess you, you kind of can. These are just older. Um, lots of action going on. Um, definitely lots of adventuring. Let's look at the tags. Um, go back and look at that tag. All right, for tags, I have first person shooter, atmospheric, story rich. Mm hmm. No, because this is America, we have to be completely opposite of Australia. I do, because I sometimes think that you're going to open the car door for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to do hints. What, 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 what did you just say about the light switch? What did they do in Australia with the light switch? It's opposite. The light, the light switch is opposite. Down is on. Did you just break my brain? I'm not, I'm not, I, 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 yeah. Why is it, why is it opposite? Like, did we, did we do the opposite of you or did you do the opposite of me? God. My mind is blown. I had no idea about the light switches. God, God damn it. Stop it. Now it's just going to be this game of who can distract Miss Queeb the most, the fastest. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I grew up in a traumatic household where I didn't get any attention. So when I get attention, I get, I get a little crazy. All right. Uh, First-person shooter, atmospheric, story-rich, action, single-player, horror, first-person, shooter. Why? Then we already have the first-person shooter tag. We don't need a first-person and a shooter. God damn it. Ah, uh, I'm okay. Sci-fi, <laughs> RPG, classic, adventure, dystopian, immersive. Great soundtrack, alternate history. I have deliberately omitted a couple of the tags that will absolutely give it away. Like absolutely 4,000% give it away. <laughs> Only two guesses? Is it that hard or do people just not give a fuck today? A couple more tags? I I I, I cannot. <laughs> okay, so so basically we we've got four guesses, but three of them are the same game. Oh, please hold, please please hold, please hold. An operator will be with you shortly. 75% off. See, that's that's my mom brain kicking in. My mom brain is like, oh, it's 75% off. It's a sale. I should just go ahead and get it, don't you know? But like, no, stop. 
Oh, that that game would give me nightmares. I am absolutely not a first person shooter type person. Oh, Loaf is pissed off. Um Okay. Okay, that's that's fine. I I completely all right, we'll work with those. Um, if I were, I've deliberately omitted three of the tags. I can't give that one. I can't give that one. So the other one that I will give you will be steampunk. <laughs> no, Kat, I was talking about um, Crow said Wolfenstein New Order. I looked it up like that looks a little creepy. But no, I would say I haven't played this game that we're playing today. I've always wanted to, but I've deliberately held off because I know how intense it's going to be. Um, I am a little excited to see Queeb play it, though. Now I'm thinking Thief series whenever it says steampunk outside of Bioshock. I'm telling you, like, I could just like, like, I want to get hired on at, at Steam to just go through and just like, make sure that the, the tags are correct. You, you getting stuff? You got a package from Twitch? They didn't send me nothing? Why don't they send me nothing? Quibus Maximus is here. We got a little package from, from Twitch. I think it's a partner thingy. I don't know what that means. Well, so they sent me an email a while back and said, hey, we'd like to give back. Yeah. Is that even picking up the light here? Hang on. There we go. Look at that. So, so are you, are you showing us this? Because you're better than us. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, you're as bad as some other creators have dealt with before. Oh, you're just showing off because you're put. No. No, you know me. I like all kinds of cool ass shit. I feel like, here, look at my stuff. Look. What all right, what what do we got? What do we got? Let's do let's do hints here real quick. Uh, okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Are you a little a, out of bit breath? Bit of a chaotic afternoon. A little bit. All right. All right. Older game. Oh, oh well over 15,000 positive reviews. Very positive reviews. Oh, <gasps> Crow. I like that. That's DC's emote. Yeah, I'm, I got I got those. I subbed to DC. Uh, the... Unfortunately, the screenshots look like screenshots. What does that mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so a lot of times with the newer games, the screenshots, they'll be so pretty and so staged that you could use them as wallpaper. And these, they unfortunately, most of them look exactly like screenshots from the game. The game itself is beautiful enough to be someone's wallpaper, and I'm sure it is. Actually, I know it is. Um, but these screenshots, they're just, you know, it's fine. Uh, for tags, in order, and I'm omitting a few of them, we have first-person shooter, atmospheric, story-rich, action, single-player, horror, first-person, shooter, sci-fi, RPG, classic, adventure, dystopian, Immersive, dark, alternate history, great soundtrack. And then there are three tags I'm omitting because it will absolutely give it away. But the one that I did reveal is Steampunk. Well, there goes, um, 
There goes Deus Ex, Human Revolution. Um, and for guesses... I would have said had... Fear up until RPG. So the guesses so far in order have been Bioshock Infinite, Bioshock, Bioshock or a Fallout, Wolfenstein New Order. That's a cool game. Yeah. And Deus Ex. And then someone, Ed said Dishonored. Oh, yeah, that would. Mm, yeah, that would kind of work. Yep. Hi, XPL. Hi, Quiet. How are Quiet you? Quiet Storm, XPL. How you doing? Good to see you guys. Thank you for coming in. You, you, just, you just caught us in time. We're doing uh, GOTD. So, what do you think? You did say did earlier, I overheard, I was in the restroom, uh, I overheard you saying something about time periods. It It is from a, oh, and that goes with uh, the tag alternate history. And knowing you like I know you, I'm yes. leaning towards Bioshock. Okay. Should Dis we... Dishonored also counts. It's more okay. Victorian, but yeah. Do you want to wait some more? Or do you want the, the paper? Let's have it. Let's have a look. <clears throat> and then we'll do the big fucking Twitch unboxing. Yes. Um, what does this mean? Bioshock chat's choice. Yes. They get to choose which one we play? Yes. And here's why. Um, We've we had a fuck ton of requests for the original, or rather, they just said Bioshock. Whenever I went to look up the remastered version, there were a crap ton of negative reviews remastered saying version. that they basically nerfed it and it wasn't as dark and immersive as it used to be. Um, and they even recommended going to YouTube and looking at side by side comparisons, shot by shot. Um, so instead of choosing it myself i decided to just choose the game and then let chat decide do they want the original bioshock from 2007 so we're talking about the first game yes crow 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 got it missed it by that much son no no no. he he said bioshock infinite and then he immediately said uh oh oh yeah maybe he, he did original, correct technically any uh He's the first person to say Bioshock, even though it was Bioshock Infinite, but Deranged said Bioshock first. So I, I would actually give it a tie. Um, but yeah, like, like this this was a hard one. The tag, for reference, the tags I left out were uh, political and underwater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I I try to give everybody as many hints. Yeah, that that's a little little giveaway. The, little not not so much the political because that could go for any of them. But right, but yeah. The third for sh uh, sorry the uh, this one for sure with underwater. Okay, so what's the story with the um the remastered version? Why wouldn't we play that one? So one of the reviews I found, well, a lot of the reviews they said that the the scenes that were scary in the original were made to not seem so scary in the remaster how is that a negative i don't know like like i i get it i get it it's not necessarily it's more it's it's the atmosphere that hits you in that game um has anyone had any experience with the remaster um because i would uh people like scary stuff not fucking me. Had some quality of life improvements. I'm down already. Like, why wouldn't we play that one? They removed the original from the store. No, I've got, I've got all of them in my library. Apparently, I've got both. Looking at this. Hold on, I have pulled up the YouTube video. You think the remastered is fine? What, are, what are some of the, what are some of the negatives here, Ms. Quip? It looked like it was mostly just, um, it kind of looks like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer issue. Um, what is that in English? Okay, so 
The original DVD set of Buffy the Vampire Slayer was perfect. It was exactly what it was on TV. It wasn't this 4K bullshit, right? Um, so when they went back through and they remastered it to make everything um, more crisp and bring it up to like 4K, <clears throat> They, they did a control A situation where they applied all of the same filters to every scene. So the darker scenes got brightened way too much. Like the blacks looked like, like gray. Um, the, oh, the okay. The brighter scenes were extremely bright and they zoomed in the camera. So it's kind so, of like a, um, a, uh, special edition, uh, Star Wars bun, mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that back in the day, yeah. too. Um, and the, do you remember the pan and scan thing that they used to have? Uh huh. So, what they did on the remaster is they did pan and scan. So, on the scenes that if you watched it on TV or on the original DVD sets, um, these beautiful scenes between two people on opposite sides of the screen, it would do the fucking pan and scan shit where it would focus on one and then would slowly pan to the other person. And it was just. You could tell that the people who did the remaster of Buffy the Vampire Slayer... Is that Slayer, what pan and scan means? Yeah. They, they took a widescreen and, and fit it for TV? Yeah, so instead of instead of picking and choosing which... Basically, what part of the screen to show, if it was like a bigger screen than that, like or rather, if there were action more spread out, it would pan between the, uh, the action spots. Um, but you could tell the person or the, the people who remastered that show they were not fans fuck it we're going for the remastered okay chat doesn't get a choice <laughs> we'll try okay. so crow gave some insight there um said a lot of the blowback was that they removed the base game with the remastered version and then did a slight price increase pretty common 12 gigabytes oh my god that's gonna take like four minutes um Hey, to be fair, nobody mentioned that as being the negative. That never came up. I'm not saying that Crow is wrong. I'm just saying. So let's have a look at the that... store page for the remastered real quick. Okay. Okay. So mostly positive is all reviews. And then in the last 30 days, it's very positive. 87% was very positive. And it's, to be fair, it's 79% out of 30,000 reviews. For an A plus game, I'm gonna. I think I'm. I think we'll be safe. Um, if there's crashing issues, you know they would have fixed it. Um, 2K doesn't fuck around. Well, apparently they do fuck around. But is US internet speed? <laughs> we. I'm. We're paying for four hundred and twenty up right now. Um, which for streaming is fine, but, uh, I, I would prefer a, a much higher upload speed. I'd, I'd, if we could get fiber, I absolutely would. No, they did the remaster and then had like one fix and then fixed nothing ever again. Oh, well. I casually oh by the way casually uh number one bioshock is the game number two um i tried filming your video a couple of times with Faye last week when i tried to feed her and she didn't grab it so instead of giving you that video i'm refilming it with one of the babies so if you could give me another day that'd be great all right oh there's a new update to uh inscription oh probably the the beta mod right Okay, so while we're waiting for that to download, before we get started on Isaac, we're going to do a, a slight Twitch gift unboxing. Here's the box. Anyone see that? Is that reversed or is it upside down? There you go. That's better. Okay. Fancy fucking box, isn't it? Jesus. Um. Okay, so we've got a bunch of packaging a water bottle set aside the, is the packaging the little worms uh little air strips yeah save those i want to put those in the snake pit for the babies okay 
I think they'll like slithering on top you of them. You didn't like the noise? That's a nice water bottle. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 I'm so jealous. Hey, it's yours. Done. That was easy. Uh -huh. it's, it's me. Yeah, here you go. Birth? Birthmas, it is still, still technically birthmas. It is still birthmas. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is pretty. It's a rainbow. We it's got colors. some we got some socks, folks. You wear socks. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> you wear a fuck ton of socks. Twitch socks, just the word partner and then the Twitch logo on white. Looks pretty cool. And then there's oh there's more, hang on. Here, take these. Save them. Hold on. What is that? Uh, we got some pins. Uh, Pog Champ, the the new one, obviously. The glitch logo. We got a partner badge. Um, a heart. It, it, oh, right, bleed purple. Yeah, very very cool. And then. Uh, Pro. Twitch partner. God damn it. Bio yeah. socks. <laughs> yes. God damn it. I don't know what this is. It's a. It's a glitch logo with a USB cable attached. Uh, should I fucking plug it in? Maybe it's a little charger. Oh, is it like a light? Well, I don't know. Hang on. Wow, USB C? No, 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 no. USB B. Wrongly is correct. It's absolutely spyware. Oh, Wrongly's here. Hey, dude. Wrongly's here. Yeah, he's here with us. He's just hanging. Do you need my assistance? No, nope, I got a USB right here. Hashtag Team Nana. Fucking hell. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a year. Thank you. There's something. There's a small red light, like right down here. You can barely see it. Is it a phone charger? Did it not give you instructions? It's a phone charger. You got, you got a Twitch phone charger? Oh, that's fucking dope. Okay, God, that's cool. Damn it. <laughs> damn it. That's some cool shit. <laughs> I thought it was like going to be a light or something. Oh, I like that. And then there's another small issue. Wow, there's more. Jesus Christ. Instead of taking the water bottle and held out for the charger. <laughs> I mean, it is birthmas. Settle down. <laughs> Munster, hi, how are you? Welcome. This bag is not a toy. It's fucking heavy. It's like a giant perspex window with a bunch of fucking holes in it. You like such chargers? I use my phone way too much to just leave it there. I don't know. I've never, I've never had a charger Is like that. Is it Connect so. Four? Connect Four? Oh, <gasps> Connect Four! Is Miss Quave and I gonna have battles? Yes. I don't know. There's an envelope inside. I'm. It, you could be like, right. It's fucking heavy. If it's like purple and white, I'm gonna die. That's gonna be so cute. Fuck me. Twitch, please. <sighs> Wireless charges can overheat your phone. I love how excited Miss Queeb is for all this. One. Of course, I'm living vicariously. I never get cool shit like this in the mail. So yeah, I'm living vicariously. Oh yeah, look at that. The top section is open. I think you might be right. Yep. 
I hate that he does that. Why do you take the plastic off? Show of hands, please. Who takes the plastic <laughs> off of literally everything? I'm not saying to never take it off. I'm just saying, like, leave it on until we actually use it. You know what, Miss Queen? I've that's that's that. There you go. That's my first. Uh... I'm sorry. Why are we? Why is? What the fuck is this? What? I've never seen that before. Okay. Um. Uh. Rusty. We've got a lot of shit, like whether mm -hmm. it's whether it's merch or clothing that's. That's too good to wear, right? Like, we'll wear it to a special event. Mm -hmm. We don't fucking go to special events. I'm going to use everything. everything. If I need new, I will buy new later. <laughs> that absolutely 4,000% was not my point, but go on, girl. No, I mean, it's... Go on, queen! I've been doing go this on. my entire life, like, preach, leaving the girl. plastic on. Oh, preach. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Oh, the back if, is frosted too, I think. If you wait to take the cling off, you risk someone else taking it off. See here, I still have the plastic on the side of my tower, and there have been three moments in the last year alone that he has wanted to take it off. I like, don't touch it, leave it. I don't need it taken off. It's not on camera, nobody sees it. Don't fucking remove it. I do love that plastic smell. It's a good smell. The toxic smell? Mm-hmm. I usually leave it on unless it's a month. Thank you, Sergeant Kenai, sir. Oh, Thank stop you. Stop siding with her. <laughs> you were really close. Team Nana. You were, Team Nana. You were really close. It's purple and black. <gasps> oh, are they. Um, They're acrylic. Opaque? Can you see? Yeah, kind of. Yep. The black one is not. They're actually. they. Do you know how hard it is to open something when your nails have been ripped off? It seems like very good quality. Yeah, like they're super good quality. I'm a little... It's a little weird that it didn't come in like its own case. You mean like this? I don't know how to put it together, but... And then I guess you just oh, it's like... It's got magnets in the corner. That's I'm that's your really case right that. there. That's cool. Hold on. C Connect four. What a weird fucking... All right. Looks they, like they we'll, we'll, I... be, we'll be battling later, Miss Queen. They knew I didn't have any board games and that I was looking to start my collection. What do you mean we don't have any board games? We've got boxes. We've got Arkham I Horror. We've got fucking any... Settlers I of don't... Catan. I, I, you came into this marriage with your collection of board games. And everything that I own is now yours. But I want stuff to just be mine. I don't like to share. It's not fair. There's something fabric in a, in a shrink wrap. All right, we got to open it. I don't know what it is. Uh, what's in that? Oh, uh, uh, the <laughs> Waluigi token? <laughs> Why is it off center? Uh, oh, it, it was, was off really center? Zero out of ten. Send it back. <laughs> uh, really nice and well fit. It, the whole thing, it's, it's weighted. It feels good. Uh, it looks nice. I like it. What's next? Twitch branded pogs. It's both awesome and weird to include a collection of swag. Except for the phone charger. Remember, Miss Queeb, what's yours is yours and what's his is yours. That is correct. That's the only reason why I'm still in this marriage. Uh, I do. Actually, I think Huxley would like it. Giving a ribbon to a snake? What is this? He, he likes string thing. Oh, it's a blanket. It's a binky. That, that not for baby. That's for mamas right there. That's for mamas. Look at it, and it goes up purple. Like purple to blue, yeah. What? Yeah, it's faded, or not faded. What do you call it? Gradient. Oh, oh, 
Oh, it also goes to like a an aqua color. Yeah. Pretty dope. There you go. There's there's Birthmas present number two. Yes, I get the Birthmas. Yes. Can I have the box? That one there. Just the one on the bottom. Oh, the okay. Jesus. Well, no, I meant... Okay. okay. I'm going to put the Connect 4 back in this box. Okay. Just until we have a place for it. Hey, okay. Fucking... <laughs> you got fuzz. Fuzz all over me. Okay. Is it a beach towel? No, it's, it's really <laughs> fleecy. No, there's no way you'd use that as a beach towel. Okay, we're definitely going to have to hide this from Zoe because if there is a blanket in this house, she will find it. <sighs> okay, well, so, Game of the Day, Bioshock Remastered Edition. Ah, McQueen, boy, you playing the, the originals better. Uh, Maybe I so. Gave, but we... I gave Pat the choice and Queeb decided. And I stole it. it oh, wow! wow. How appropriate. Queeb taking something that isn't his. I no, think it, it, most people were were in agreement there, I think. I don't I don't think I stepped over the no. over the line. What I was going to say was no, I gave the choice to chat and Queeb is chat dad, so it's his decision. Um the other side it it's not it only looks like um it's it's like white like well it's it's absolutely like acrylic it's very yeah. shiny and, and slick almost yeah. but it's very warm this is not a democracy baby <laughs> that is correct well, that was a nice little surprise i haven't seen frost but if he is still in here thank you for posting the little dude I have discovered Little Horn. You know, I understand this type of plan. Oh, we, we hate Little Horn on this channel. No, he's adorable. No, he's that's, not. That's my boo. Mm -hmm. That's my boo. I tell Steph it's our idea now when I take her ideas. Steph, so Steph was hanging out last night watching uh, Manifold okay. Garden. You say that after all of the nice things she said about you. How dare you, sir? What are you talking about? No, she was saying all kinds of nice things, and he just said, I tell Steph it's our idea now when I take her ideas. This is after she said, oh, I put lipstick on him as he in his sleep. She didn't say that. Scroll, scroll back, because I, I promise you she did. Stop. <laughs> Stop starting drama in other people's marriages. How the fuck did I start this? Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, Binding of Isaac. Here we go. We'll do a uh, prediction. Well, I'm kind of excited to play Isaac uh, Bioshock again. I haven't played that in a long, long time. I asked Queeb if I could order pizza tonight well I, I don't have to ask doesn't but he he likes to be included in decisions about food and that is okay that is fine um so i i asked him would it be okay if i order pizza he said yes and then she asked so me what i wanted and i said just the cheesy bread from papa john's with uh marinara sauce so sauce that's all i need sars Sarks. Sarks. Uh, okay, so let me order that, and then I need to go take care of your, your child's. We had one of the, um, it wasn't a hot and ready, but it was the uh, ultimate supreme last week, I think. Super good. Why am I getting, what is going on here? Why am I getting classic Isaac? Hold up. This is a Steam thing, isn't it? This is what popped up on screen before. I don't know 
Does Steam have an audio player built in? And why is the soundtrack playing? Oh, help me fix this. Fucking hell. Steam? It does. I was too tired to stop her. I made him into a beautiful lady. I just rolled over. Then I drew on his back that vanished in the night by the time I was awake. See, that's 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 that that's love right there. That's love. I can listen to the Traveler's theme. I can listen to, I can listen to anything. I have Apple Music in the background as well, but this is what? What? There's no button to go to it. Okay. Don't you just hit it when random audio starts on your computer? You can't figure out where to stop oh, it. Fuck. I've had to get into the habit of like muting the tabs. To get to Steam audio player. To access it, visit the library section, select local music category on the left. It's in the view list, said deranged. What? This is the worst fucking UI, I swear to Christ. Okay, we will continue this run. I think I can do that. God damn it. Miss Queeb, when you do get a job uh, at Valve, um, can you tell them to fix that? Because that's fucked. Um, hold on a second. Oh, uh, that was a fucking good idea. Have a button if you got. When 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 get job at Valve, fix. Okay. Thank got you. <laughs> You're welcome. If it starts playing again automatically, I'm I'm boned. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened in the first place. Okay. No fix, make Half-Life 3. <laughs> I think we're okay. 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 Sumptorium. 4.3 damage. Uh, decent health. Decent tears. Um... Ranged said, does your keyboard have a play button? It does, but that's, um, when, uh, with, um, with iTunes running, that should be the only thing that takes focus, unless I bumped it. I remember doing that. Anyway. Could the plugging in the charger have caused that? Mm? How odd, but... Windows but. never ceases to uh, amaze. Um, and we got Guppy's Eye as well. This is really good. Okay, let's hold the bomb for a sec. Windows is so fucking just... It's backwards when it comes to basic media functionality. Um, what's even more hilarious about Windows is if you go into some of the really deep settings, and I mean really deep, you will see um, a user interface from 20 years ago. And it just, it blows my mind. All right, this room is nightmare fuel. Cool, thanks, yep. Cool, love it. 
This this is a really fucked room. Thanks, Ed. Like this is just luck if I get hit or not. You hate that Windows is case sensitive? Um, well, I mean, Linux, Unix, Unix, Mac OS, they're all case sensitive as well. I read it wrong? Insensitive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's how you know someone's into IT. Your audio is not coming through, Miss Quib. Okay. There you go. Good. I went with my gut this time. I believe he will win. What's my space bar? Um, it's on the Steel Series. Um, uh, it's that one right there. It's the long, thin one that sort of stretches across multiple keys. Um, it's pretty good. It allows you to put a. I know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Um, that's called Sumptorium. I can uh, sort of create mini, mini blobs with my health. I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens there. No, casually, this is how he is all the time. Off stream and on, this is this is him. We embrace it, we love it. Begrudgingly, we love it. It's fine. Now, a lot of the decisions that uh, have been put into Windows are, are mind-blowing. Even, like, but when it comes to... Should I get that? Uh, shouldn't, but whatever. My shot speed is decent enough. Um, like plugging stuff in, like, like plugging in a monitor via HDMI or display port that has speakers attached to it. Why would you automatically change the, the, the output? Of the entire city. Why would you do that? Why? If you find Trisagan, you, you have to take it. Um, depending on the build, I would probably disagree. Just because it can be game crashing. I, we haven't had a, a game crashing Trisagan run in a while. But usually it involves like Jacob's Ladder and... Um, maybe... Uh, Prism and, and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Damage is very good. I don't, I don't see this run going negatively. Oh, Jeebus Juice. Uh, okay. One bomb left. Let's check that store one more time. It's worth the bomb for the keys, I think. I'm surprised that the secret room wasn't there, but... was just it's just the animation that looks slow what's going on here I think my controller's borked I have to send it back hey Zeph how you doing man I'm doing good Yeah, that's worth. Like, I would have liked a little bit more cash from that. That would have been nice, but it's fine. All right. Amazon, one second, please. Fucking hell. Returns. 
Let me do this before I forget, because um, I absolutely will. I'm going to have to switch out for uh, a, a regular one. There you are. Sixty nine bucks, not a cheap controller. Thursday, January sixth, yeah, that's fine. Nice. I mean, technically speaking, I guess it is a cheap controller. You look at anything from Scuff or anything from uh, uh, like Xbox Elite controller, it's like what, 150 bucks? Steam, Christ's sake. All right, this ain't good. Why, why is tonight a technically challenged night? Everything's cool, everything's fine, everything's legit. Had a slow day. Got a package from Twitch. I'm ordering pizza. You gonna get some cheese breadstick things? Do I have to crash out the fucking game? still on the first floor, aren't we? Fuck. Isn't every night a technically challenged night? Isn't that just streamer life? You'd think with fucking virtual reality and spaceships that a fucking computer video game controller would just work. Stop being logical. Big picture mode. Oh, fancy animation. Thanks. Thanks, Steam. Settings. See, that's where the money went. The money went to make the fancy visuals. There you go. Yep. It's picked it up. It's that Isaac doesn't want to recognize it since it's already running. Which I guess makes sense. Oh! Fixed it. Nice. Okay. Alright, we can we can get back to it. Luckily the color of the controller does not equate to the uh Alright, I didn't want to spend an extra sixty nine bucks tonight, but there you go. Queeb, you're gonna get me started. Things just working as a fantasy I've had for years. I feel like quitting out saves you in the current room, but crashing might be based on the floor. I couldn't quit out at the time. I went into big picture mode. I exited big picture mode. Big picture mode threatened that games were running and that I should be careful. Um, and I did it anyway, expecting Isaac to crash. Isaac stayed running and the controller works. So we dodged a bullet there. Thank you for the dancing baby. I appreciate some dancing, baby. 
I would have liked to have gotten that. Um, right, so Sumptorium, let me show you how it works. Um, you activate it, and we create, from half a heart, a little blob that shoots my tears. It's, it's actually extremely powerful. Um, so we're going to wait for it to charge again, use the other half, grab this, and... And we have three times the shots. Now, unfortunately, they are very much um, vulnerable. So you got to be careful of them. And they, they it's the, the whole thing where you can move independent of them if you choose. But I try to keep them together when, when I can. Oh, is a dancing crocodile as well? Hello, Junko. How you doing? Junko, have you played any Isaac? Kind of excited for you to check that out. Floosh. Okay, just to confirm, you only want cheese sticks. Well, what pizza are you ordering? <laughs> I'm doing the two medium special because it's the, the cheapest I can get with the most amount of food. So I'm doing one all veggie for me, and then I'm doing one with pepperoni and bacon for you. Um, can you get a Supreme instead? <laughs> Look, if you're if you're ordering a pizza for me, it might as well be something I you would prefer. Okay. The bacon uh, flavor really, mm, it's not great on pizzas in my opinion. It's old. Miss Queeves, the programmer behind the scenes. Do you know what? How happy that would make me? Where well, if I could go, hey, Miss Queeb, I want my wheel to work and not include you in every win. Um, that would be kind of dope. Just be like, hold on, just a second. Okay, try it now. Have they nerfed Sumptorium? Why do I get the feeling they've nerfed Sumptorium? What, what's this little guy? Why is he small? Is he just small? Okay, I'm getting the Supreme. I am taking off the meat that you don't like. Lose HP over time? All of them? Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm not going to be using that anymore, I don't think, unless I... Okay, it was really powerful. That's, that's quite the change, Ed. Just saying. Re-bacon who hurt you? No, 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 no. Bacon on pizzas is... You'd, you'd expect it to be, like, incredible, right? But it doesn't go with everything, and it over, it's over, it overwhelms the flavor. I think that's the best way I can explain it. Okay. All right, so I have gotten a Supreme. I have taken off the, quote, gray, unquote, meat that gray you meat. do not like. Can you also remove peppers and add pepper and chini if they have it, or a, just a couple of jalapenos otherwise? We go on full custom tonight. Hopefully that doesn't cost more. It's costing more, isn't it? I'll just I'll just take it as it is. Just don't oh, don't no, add anything. Oh no, I'm back on the screen, baby. We're changing it. If it's costing more, I don't want it. The reason I went with the two mediums is because they currently do not have a special for a large pizza. So I would be having to pay full price for a large pizza. So if I'm having to pay regular price for a, a supreme pizza, then let's get it the way that we want it. Right. right, but doesn't adding and removing costs cost you money? Figure it out. Give me a second. <laughs> they do have the pepperoncinis. Well, they have the banana peppers. Bacon and corn flavored pizza. That sounds good. Ed, I think that's that sounds all right. I'm not a fan, but it's a thing like chicken or cream cheese. It's not cream cheese, but there's no English word or American. 
don't forget the jalapenos. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of uh, white sauce pizzas. Um, there's a place here called Blaze. It's kind of like a kind of like a Subway, but where you you pick the ingredients and then they bake it custom order. It's very popular, at least in LA. It's very popular. Um, and you can get a pizza exactly how you like it. And um, it's it's pretty it's pretty great. Stephanie said, "Don't forget the jalapenos." So there's no jalapenos on this. We are doing banana peppers for creep, but they introduced something new called jalapeno popper rolls, which look like little bitty rolls of of bread that are stuffed with cheese and jalapenos. So I'm getting an order this of those. This is gonna cost a fortune. All right, since we're on this track, what desserts do they have? Just the it's Papa John's, right? And it's Papa John's. Um, they have the cinnamon sugar. So you have you have three choices. You have double chocolate chip brownies. You have a chocolate chip cookie pie thing, like the bigger cookie, or you have a cinnamon pull apart. The pull apart, right. yeah. Okay. Um, in answer to why we are going with Papa John's, Queeb wanted the cheese sticks. Normally, well, lately we've been, I've been ordering from Round Table, which is a vastly superior pizza. I However, still haven't eaten any of, of Round Table, by the way. However, no specials, N like none. So you're paying $30 for a large, coupled with the fact Sorry, that run that by me again? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So in addition, the, um, the one that's closest to our house has really shitty customer service, like Oh, they even act. even better reason to go yeah. there. So like, so like whenever I walk in, like you go through the rigmarole of um, using the app, which by the way, the app is not actually an app. It's an app that actually just uses the website. So that's fun. Um, you have to re-enter things constantly, right? And then um, you enter in your credit card number. They want you to add your tip right there. So fine, whatever. Uh, and they'll give you like, they'll say, it'll be ready in 20 minutes. There have been times I've gotten there at 20 minutes and it still needs 10 minutes. I've gotten there at 30 minutes. It was done 15 minutes ago. I've gotten there 15 minutes and it still needs 15 minutes. Like there is no rhyme or reason to when shit is ready. And half the time they've run the credit card and the other half of the time they haven't. And I understand it's very difficult for them to like get on track. Like I, I understand it. Hey, this is all they do. The, but I, right. <laughs> and so on top like when, of that, you know that you know the saying, you have one job, and it's kind of a meme. Yes. They have one job, and it's not a meme. Right. Um. So on top of that, uh, there will be times where I will order something on the website and the website is not working, so I have to actually call the store and they're like, what? What do you mean? Like the special does not exist in their system. I've had to show them the website on my phone. Like, it, no, this this special right here that's on your website. It's like, oh, we don't have that. Considering how many times have, quote unquote, we had round table? I've had three personal pizzas. How much is and, personal pizza? And, don't say 30 bucks. I'll fucking lose uh, my shit right here. Seven dollars. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> okay. Damn. Um, and two of the largest, and that's within a three-month period. Uh, Seventy dollars worth of pizza plus tip. And. And I haven't had any of it. That's not on me. That's on you. When I say thirty dollars for a pizza, pizza is an event you wake up queeb for. Uh, Queep doesn't wake up for food. <laughs> do you not? Do you not know yourself? No, baby, you don't wake up for food. Um, so on top of that, whenever I've gone in, it's, it's like they're like, "What? Huh? Excuse me? Like, like they they are bored with their job. They are done with their job." Is it is it like a they're overstressed and they can't deal with this? Uh, no, no, no. Because when I go, they've closed half the restaurant for renovations and then they fix that and they close the other half. 
So I've probably been in six or seven times, right? Okay. At most, there's one other customer in there who is waiting to pick up or they're waiting to order. And there are two people working. There is no business going on inside. They're not running through tons of pizzas. Like they are not busy at all, which is, <laughs> which is why I am so confused. Um, however, all of that being said, the reason Queeb and I have a rule, we, we give every place two chances, right? You get one chance to fuck up. You get one chance to redeem yourself. I have given them like like multiple chances and the only reason I have continued to do so because the pizza is just that damn good. Well, I'll have to try it sometime. It's you've had the breadsticks from there, you like them. Yeah, they're breadsticks. Like how much how bad can no, you no, go no, with no, breadsticks? No, 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 no. 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 Stop. You know that a breadstick from Domino's and a breadstick from Papa John's and a breadstick from some random place and a breadstick from Little Caesars and a breadstick from a custom place, you know they're all completely different. Don't even come at me sideways with that bullshit, son. You know. I'm gonna fucking die here. To this dickhead. Don't worry, we will go and post pictures of Discord. <laughs> Um, but this pizza, it's super fucking good. It's amazing eaten cold. Like just it, straight up cold? Straight up cold. It's okay. wonderful. Um, the workaround is whenever I went, um, I think it was on my birthday. Yeah, so on my birthday I went and I got I went to one of those nothing but cake places and got two little things of cakes and there's a round table uh in that same area and I got a personal pizza from there. The restaurant's like twice as big. There was one person working. There was absolutely no business and she went above and beyond. This this poor little 16, 17 year old like amazing person i love her like mwah. i hope you grow up and win an oscar i hope you win a grammy a tony i like like i love you she's perfect uh, but well, what is she like, is she a singer an actor or, no, or no. she's a triple she's threat amazing. she's amazing okay. that's what she is um the only problem is that that's roughly 30 minutes away from the house so if i go out there i have to eat out there there you go there's another piece of information for everyone to write down 30 minutes away from house is really good service at a pizza place yeah absolutely and here in la like it's it's difficult everything out here like like there are a lot of choices for food but like I spend most of my time whenever I'm around other people out here, I, I feel like I am in the way. I feel like I'm a burden and it's not me like, like being myself, like people genuinely. <laughs> like, 30 me. minutes is, is two blocks away. Doxing yourself. Oh, Ms. Queeb is the, the queen of doxing herself. Oh yeah. We're yeah, going to have to have a, it? we're going to have to have a primer before she does start streaming. Oh, gee, I've never been on the internet before. I don't know how this works. I'm Everybody wanted, knows I'm kidding. You said you wanted my social. Hold on just a second. I'll make a copy for you. I can do that. I hate when the best play pizza is at a place that's super inconvenient with sub. Exactly. And so that's, that's basically why we're going with Papa John's. It's not the closest, but it's one of the closest. And I know that he will eat the breadsticks. It is tolerable, too. The breadsticks are fucking amazing. Dewey says pizza around here is fairly expensive, but the local mom and pop shops are absolutely divine. The ones here have been kind of hit or miss. I never went to round table just because I don't know, like, what's, I think I would. What's the other place we go to with the really amazing crazy bread? Well, the crazy bread, that's Little Caesars. Yeah, not, not great pizza, but it's fucking fast. Like, like it's. It's almost comparable to Papa John's. It's cheaper and it's faster. So that's how it wins. Interestingly, 30 minutes away in LA could be walking. <laughs> this was driving. It's not that far away, but there's just a lot of, um, like a lot of lights, a lot of traffic. How, how many stoplights along the way, Miss Queef? Um, I think it's four. 
but I can make sure and I can write that down. I, I'll, I'll include a map. I once tried to go out on Halloween. Um, Susa. <laughs> the place would have normally taken 20 minutes to get to. An hour and a half later, we turned around. Um, it was, it was just, yeah, atrocious. This run, uh, this run not, not, not going so well. Okay, so I've got the cheese sticks, I've got your pizza, I've got the cinnamon pull apart, and the jalapeno popper rolls. Are you good? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Chains may not be amazing, but they are consistent. Zeus is correct. Like, it's, it's not, it's not great, but it's consistently not reliable. great. It is reliable. Like with round table, amazing, except I, f I feel like a piece of shit. I, I, how dare I want to spend over $30 for a large Supreme style pizza that I have to go pick up. How dare I? Um... I'm a big fan of the 7-Eleven pizzas that cost like five bucks. Exactly, like like five bucks for a large. It's amazing. Like it's, I would, yes, I paid $5 for this large. It, yeah, it, it's pizza, it's fine. But it's only five bucks as opposed to, yeah, I spent $30 on this pizza. It was kind of trash. Like that's gonna make me feel awful. I've, I've said it time and time again. Why do you think McDonald's is popular? It ain't because it's good food, that's for sure. Because it's exactly the same wherever you go. Um. Triple five. Uh. I mean, it might. It might be normal in those air like like delivered. Okay, it's probably like forty something to get. Like tonight, we're we're gonna we're gonna pay we're gonna pay some money to get it delivered. Um. But I'm saying $30 before tax, and I have to pick it up. And that's like, they do not have specials. Like, occasionally they'll be like, oh, it the barbecue pizza is on special for $25 instead of $30. Yeah, it's almost 50 bucks. Exactly. Like, it's, it's, so like right now, we're going to be paying that much. $50. We're getting, we're getting a large Supreme pizza. We're getting a dessert and two appetizers. That's a lot of food for that amount. That'll last a couple of days, too. So. Abs absolutely. Like, Queeb won't maybe eat the pizza reheated. He's, like, usually either or about it. But that will absolutely feed me for a few days. Um, at the new place, the the round table if i pay if i tried to get it delivered it would be about the same price for one pizza and by the time it gets here it's going to be cold because that's what it has been lately at least with the smaller places the pizza's hot so you know bookworms are tear up now Starbucks people go to us not because we're the best, but because we're consistent. Exactly. Like, it's it's consistent. It's confusing as fuck, but it's consistent. I, I like Starbucks. Starbucks um, came into Australia and, and it was there was a lot of kickback because a lot of smaller cafes uh, closed down. A place I used to work at had this... Um, um, it was a predominantly Asian neighborhood and uh they had this amazing sort of milkshake place which was oh i'll take a hit for that dogs are barking is the pizza here already you finished fucking ordering it um and they had this like banana milkshake um or or smoothie rather with peanut butter in it it was incredible 
And uh, I was really sad when Starbucks came because they had to close. They they couldn't keep up with Starbucks. And um, but I, I like Starbucks now. I usually get the really sort of very basic kind of drinks. A lot of um, uh, like very high cream, high sugar kind of deals. Actually, their hot chocolate is what I think coffee should like. To me, it tastes like coffee. But then again, I, I'm weird. Okay, pizza has been ordered. I'm waiting for the order to be. West hot chocolate. Their white chocolate mocha is um, one of the best I've had. Their chai is weird. I know, I know, chai is tea, but it's not tea. It's it's like a milky, frothy, hot cinnamon style drink um pantheranos that doesn't shock me like uh, especially around here they have a lot of younger people and i'm already like a noob at starbucks because i don't i don't drink coffee like i have to read off Queeb's order exactly how he tells me but there's Otherwise, stuff there you would like i think they're like yeah, like some of the the ref the refreshers or whatever, I've had. Oh, they're their, good. Yeah, yeah. They've had like their white peppermint mocha. Like some of the that stuff, like the the vanilla frappuccino, the cream frappuccino is great. Sure. Oh, the white one. Yeah, but I. High sugar, high fat, love it. Amazing. <laughs> I don't like like. When I say this, I'm not trying to offend anybody, I promise. Like, that's not my intention. When I think of I want something to drink, it's usually a Coke or it's a water or a Gatorade. I don't think, oh, I want Starbucks. Like, Queeb, one of Queeb's little things was literally every time I left the house, he wanted me to bring him a coffee. And th that's like, that's, that's too much for me. Like, I'm a once in a while kind of person. And I have to, when I pick something, I either try to do it on the app so I don't have to actually talk to someone. So the reason I got so into Starbucks here is because almost every job that I've had... Has been by a Starbucks. And every break, I'd be hanging out with people I actually liked. Um, and we'd go and get, you know, we'd hang out and we'd, we'd have good chats, usually about video games or something nerd related. Um, and we'd go and we'd go and it was, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and it was a nice little get out. And then I sort of associated that fun with m the company and, and the, the process of buying a coffee and going on a break and not working and, you know, you know, the whole, the whole deal. You only like espresso, nothing else? Um... One of my favorite drinks of all time, and Miss Queeb, I think you would like it, but mm, now that I think about it, maybe not. It's called an affogato, which is essentially coffee over ice cream. Um, we have talked about this, and it does sound amazing, but I would not like it. Well, there's there's the the difference as well. We all of the coffees we've tried have been like I think we had a Keurig at one stage, right? But it still doesn't compare to. Like a freshly ground oh, mm -mm. cafe style um, nope. coffee. I big I big fucking you. difference. You can get close, but not there's there's a big difference. I love you very much with with everything in me, but you are not understanding that I do not like coffee. Like, you ain't gotta tell me. I I know that. It has nothing to do with how it is made. It has to do with the quantity of coffee. Right. So when, I am not going to. When like I say it. we tried to find Ms. Queeba drink, we bought more ingredients than I care to remember, and we spent hours in the kitchen just just making different shit. I would come up with an idea, she'd come up with a different idea. We would add stuff to it. We would take stuff away. And it like we the found amount of cream worked. and the amount of sugar in this drink that she ended up liking. <laughs> but and, let's and just then, say it was wouldn't be healthy for you. Yeah. But like once we figured it out and I saw like that weird glitch again. Like it, it has to have so much sugar and it has to have so much cream in order for me to like it. it. That's not worth it for me. Like it's fine. 
Um, but that was before I, I figured out why I felt that way, uh, before I figured out that I had a, a sensitive uh, bitter receptor, which makes everything that, that makes complete sense. So I know the reason that I don't like tea is because of the bitter receptor, because I'm tasting the tannins in the tea. Like mm. it's much more stronger to me than it is to everybody else that doesn't have that. Same thing with coffee. Uh, like most coffee ice cream, we were talking about that the other day. Most coffee ice cream, it's too much coffee. Um, like with, um, uh, like one of the reasons I don't drink is because alcohol does is not tasty. Like I'm the same. It, it, I don't like it. Um, any kind of wine or champagne, I can taste like, especially wine that can taste the tan and same thing with beer. Um, so just think of whatever you like, like coffee, for instance, the only way I can drink it is by getting one of the, the Starbucks pre-made latte bottles and then adding more milk and cream to it. And even then there's like a line I am extremely sensitive. Um, it's the, what is the receptor called? It's a uh, T-A-S-R. Is this the same thing that makes some people say cilantro tastes like soap? It is similar, but it's not the same thing. Um, sensitive, bitter, gene. It's like T-A-S-R something. T-A-S-R 428 or some. Super taster gene. It is the... T2R38 gene makes people more sensitive to bitter taste, also enhances immune function. It has been linked to stronger immunity against infections. Research suggests that does include COVID-19. Super testers with two copies of the gene may be less likely to get COVID-19 and develop severe illness. Say that again? Mm-hmm. Super tasters, which is the people who have this gene. Right. With two copies of the gene may be less likely, mess, may be less likely to get COVID and develop severe illness. No shit. Um, I, so here's how I figured out I had it. My doctor said I was crazy. She said I was fat, that I just needed to like, just stop. <laughs> that that if, if I just eliminate all the sugar out of my diet, that I, I would be fine. So I did that. I, I lost a lot of weight and, and I- And obviously she understands that, you know, your mental health- Yeah. Um, of course. Comes first and definitely plays a role. Oh, of in course. The, hmm. Of course. Um, and uh, so I lost weight. I I didn't have sugar for like six months, and still like I, I couldn't drink coffee. I could like wine. Don't I don't care. Like like any kind of wine, even if it's wine added to food. Um, that tiny little bit, I can I can taste it, and that's one of the reasons why I'm really good at. I can taste something, or I can smell something. I can tell you exactly what's in it. I can tell you whether or not I'm gonna like it. Mm -hmm. um, it does mean that stuff that is severely bitter, I have like Brussels sprouts, for instance, I could not tolerate Brussels sprouts unless they are roasted. They are severely seasoned and I cook them in bacon fat. Everybody hates Brussels sprouts until they're cooked well. Oh, but I read it. I eat them raw, McQueep. They're the best. They're the best. Congrats. Um, oh, let me go back through. Are you so I don't know why, but your guys' quibbles are like a funny sitcom. I think that's a compliment. Thank you, 555. Our quibbles, as in like our the, the discussions our we have? Yes. <laughs> uh, Derange says you like a little coffee in your cream. That's exactly what it is. Zoo says our hot chocolate used to be better. Not good, but better than it was. They took the vanilla out to simplify the recipe. Now it tastes like garbage. Um, I wonder what else is that's linked to in the brain. I think dark rum would be standable because of how sweet it is. Cilantro is a no-go. Do you smell crazy? I don't smell crazy smells. I'm, but I'm more, I can detect smells. Queeb has like an overly pregnant nose. Like. I just happen to be scratching my nose as you say that. <laughs> he's like, hi Jeff, how are you? Um, He's like, he has like very, very sensitive smelling. I ridiculously sensitive. Yeah. But let me rephrase. I think we both have great smelling. However, you, you absolutely hate most smells like any, anything that's like overly sweet, overly floral. You cannot t 
tolerate it. Well, you hit the nail on the head there. It's the word overly. Yes. I don't I know. complain about anything. In fact, I like a lot of the smells that you you introduce to the family with, you know, candles and stuff. But um, like when you get some of the Christmassy smells or like vanilla, and I can smell it in the office when it's burning three rooms away. No, 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 no. Because I have I have gotten candles before and I have not lit them and you have come blazing into the kitchen. Where is it? Where's what? You lit a candle. I, I the only other things you're talking about are the, the plug in things. No. Or the or the the oil burner. No. They're the same. Anything overly is overly for me. Yes. So I don't know what to say to that. Well, you don't have to say anything. We weren't we weren't dragging you. It wasn't a, a, a complaint against your person. You basically die when you walk into a bath and body works? Same. Same. 100%. That is, that is overpowering as shit. Yeah, I could not work in there. I'd have a migraine all day. Um, so the way that I figured out about this is um, Googling did not help at all. I could not figure it out until I sat back and I realized that my... Um, my father would drink his coffee black. This man, he probably drank equal parts coffee, water, and beer. Like, shitty bush beer. Like, warm bush beer. Like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, never drank soda, anything like that, right? I'm serious, like, but, however, he's like, he was old school, white in the south like out in the country and when i say country i mean country like out there by the swamps right like they don't that's too fancy for them even doing soda or some kind of like juice or you know much less a starbucks um and he would like smoke cigarettes constantly like that was his thing my mother puts Syrup. Oh look, it's your favorite your favorite character in the game, Miss Creep. I'm about to slay two of them mercilessly. I love him. He's my child. He's a dickhead. Um, my mother he deserves would... what's coming to him. You fuck around, find out in this household. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, my mother slathers sugar or syrup on everything. Like her tea, her sweet tea, like yeah, southern sweet tea, she would use like cups cups of sugar in her tea and my father would make fun of him or make fun of her saying oh you know you just like your sugar water i didn't realize that that wasn't normal i started fiddling around with like googling phrases and i found this thing so if you think you have something similar i will copy and paste the link for you so you can figure it out But yeah, so it just means that if if something like perfume, for instance, if something that has like more of like a bitter or an overly strong scent is is one of the more prominent scents, I absolutely won't like it. Um, even if it's more of like a background note, I will still be able to smell it very promptly or, or prominently rather. Um, and it just means that, you know, that it's not something I can cure. It just means that stuff like spinach and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and coffee and tea and beer and wine and most liquors I'm just not into and I'm not going to like it and it's nothing wrong with me. Like, It's one of the reasons I stopped drinking was that it just tastes like shit. The only thing I could tolerate is like... Like something that doesn't taste like alcohol, like a Mike's Hard Lemonade, or uh, back in the day it was Stolich, Stolly, Stolly Vodka, the the little bottles of premix that, that they came out with. Well ahead of its time, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> many a rough night on those, but yeah. And that was the other side of things, is that I just didn't like the way it made me feel the following day. A good strawberry daiquiri. I, I like like a frozen strawberry daiquiri. It sounds like so stupid, but sometimes that it's just that's what I'm I'm feeling like, and it just it's it's comfortable. Uh, 
I've heard it said that alcohol is borrowing happiness from tomorrow. I believe that. I've had some severe hangovers. One, I embarrassed myself in front of my parents one night and I was so sick and I could just tell by the look on my dad's face that he was so disappointed in me. Not, not because... Not because anything you did, but because you drank. No, well, no, not even that. Like, he didn't discourage me. He wanted me to discover stuff on my own. Mm -hmm. I discovered that night. Um, we haven't taken one pill since getting PhD, by the way. Not a single one. Absolutely horrid hard cider. Are you talking like... Oh fuck, I don't remember. My favorite girly drinks are Mai Tai and a proper pina colada. See, I disagree with the term girly drinks, because that sounds divine. And if I was amongst friends, um, I, I could probably enjoy a drink still. Like, I'm not against drinking, but I, I just don't... It's not something that I actively participate in on the regular. Um, but if I, you know, if... Heaven forbid when, when stuff opens up back back again, if it ever does. Um, you know, I might go out with friends and enjoy a drink once again, but I, I'm, my, my days of partying are, are long, long, long over. Oh, like I don't, I, I did, I did what I guess I would call like an energy cost analysis on alcohol. And number one, I don't like it. Number two, I've only been severely drunk, like, like half of a time. Alcoholism, it's like very prevalent on both sides of my family. And also I was dealing with alcohol not tasting quote unquote good when I was younger. And at the time I didn't understand that I had this, I only, it's only been in the last few years that I understood I had this super, super taster gene thing bullshit, right? Um, so I just thought I was being a big baby and it was the same reason why I didn't like coffee and, you know, didn't like wine, stuff like that. Um, so it was a taste thing. It was, I couldn't drink enough of it to, to feel like, like it was doing anything, if that makes any sense. Like, and I wasn't enjoying it and a few times I've been tipsy, like maybe a little more tipsy, but that quickly wore off. I didn't understand like the brouhaha and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like there is literally nothing here that I, I care about. I'll just sit there and I'll have a water or I'll have a Coke and I'm okay. And if people press me, I'll just say, oh, it's a rum and Coke. And, and I have done that before just to get people to lay off whenever people hear or they see that you are not drinking like everybody else in the group they tend to like try to push you like oh why don't you really try fucking dangerous behavior by the way and really uh, dangerous so i've had to resort to either saying oh it's just it's a rum and coke or i don't drink i'm sober but thank you and quickly changing the subject and i hate that i have to lie like that but it's because they will and it's kind of like the people who smoke pot if you say that you don't enjoy smoking, you're obviously in the wrong and you haven't found the right strain. <laughs> you haven't found... Oh my god, yes. <laughs> and it's it's horrible out here. I thought it was Oh, bad. you need you need a sativa, not an indica? Like you I know a place. Thanks. <laughs> here, hold on. And the I'll, sheer I'll... the sheer arrogance as well. It's oh. And it's Oh. <laughs> and then and then if you if once you get that squashed then they'll say oh thc will get you some edibles no 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 i'm okay like sweetie i have adhd like the way that you feel on on pod or any kind of like mood enhancer that just makes me feel like you feel on a normal day like it does nothing for me i don't enjoy it i'm i'm good so having to like fucking lie Zeph is correct. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars just to get a butt. It's like, I I do not care. I don't care. And if that makes me uh, some kind of big baby or that's fine. I'm good. Are there alcoholic drinks I like? Yes. However, 
they're so out there that I can never find a bar that can make them. So I just don't get them. I've, because then I've tried ev like everything to, to cure my headaches. One of the first things that people say is, have you tried X, Y, and Z? To fix same headaches. Thing, uh, same thing with the insomnia. Have you tried melatonin? Oh. I I have a I have a good brand. Hold on. Oh, you <laughs> okay. need the natural kind, Miss Queen. <laughs> it's like it's just like this arrogance. Have you have you have you tried? People to people love now? giving advice though. I I don't know where that comes from. I. <laughs> Like, people have, have said things in chat before where they'd be like, you know, I suffer from X, Y, and Z, and I will anecdotally tell them my experience with what's helped me, but I will never infer that they should be trying that. Um, Magnus Hard Cider? I've had Magnus Cider before in the UK. In fact, you can get that on tap in the UK. Um... And it's all right. Wish I had school bag. Oh, we've still got more play here. Okay, hang on, hang on. I wanna, I wanna get the most out of this floor since it's the last time we're gonna see a store. Lisa, the worst part of coming to terms with what I like and don't like, and not taking other people's bullshit on the topics, is that it took me so long to figure out what I don't need or want their approval, so if they let it go, great. If they don't, they can fuck right off. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yep. When I was... And if your friends ever do try that shit where they, they pressure you, it will not necessarily force you to do something, but they, they there's comments like, oh, 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 you don't like to drink? Well, excuse me, like, no. Oh, you think you're so much better than us? Wow. Those are the... Um... They're not friends. Yeah, they're the wrong people. It took a really long time for me to to figure that out. Like, one of the bad things about growing up and you don't have any kind of, like, role model to look up to or or any kind of, like, um, like even a, a decent relationship with your parents is that you tend to get swept up in whatever current is around you. So if I'm with a group and they're all drinking, then they would encourage me to drink. And I was able to kind of, I guess, like get away with not drinking. And then I would, I would feel like I needed to drink with them just to like, kind of feel something to like, like feel like I was part of the group. And then when I didn't like it, I would have to like hold in my reaction because if I made a reaction, they would laugh at me. And then say, oh, she's not used to it. Or, you know, we got a virgin here. And it's just like so Woof. just just so just fucking stupid. And it's only been in the last few years where I'm like, I, 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 I don't give a shit. Like, I have no shits to give you. Um, I don't care if uh, if we're in a group and they need to think of me as someone who is uh, a recovering alcoholic in order to leave me alone and stop pestering me to drink. So if there have been a couple of times like there was a normally for work functions, like any kind of cocktail hour hop hour thing after work, I would never go because it encourages drinking and I don't drink. And I also hated my jobs. So why would I want to go hang out with people that made me miserable and I would have to hold in what I wanted to say to them for eight hours a day yep. and then be in that kind of atmosphere where I, I had to see them at their worst. I worked a job and on my second day, my HR person invited me to go to a, a local concert to see someone that she liked. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, um, I, I know this story. I normally wouldn't go. However, my new LA friend who I had a lot of connections with, turns out her, uh, she was 
really good friends with my HR person's twin sister, and they had actually hung out on occasion. Uh, and so my friend went and I went, and this was literally my the night of the second day I was on the job, went out after work. She got obliterated. Oh, fucking obliterated. And this woman, she's like, she's, she's my age. Not that but there's anything wrong with that. There, there, there's nothing wrong with that. But she was, she had postured herself at work. So she seemed a lot older and more mature. And she's had this job for 13 years and all of this. And some shit went down that night, right? No, don't, don't say it. She... Don't answer, don't answer that. <laughs> um... <laughs> She had, she had the hots for the person we went to see, the singer. I don't even remember who it was. And apparently she had gone to every concert he's ever had in this area. And he's been, he, you know, whenever people just like first come up singing and they're like singing little local bars and they go to bigger bars and then like, uh, like small concert halls and then bigger ones and whatnot. Like they grow, right? She had been to every single one of his shows and she wow. was like obsessed with him. We were right in the front row. Uh, during the slow song, she would she would sway and she would grab my hand and she would encourage me to sway with her. And she was like, she was thankfully a good drunk. But like, that's not something that you need to let your, your new employee see. Uh, because then she hit a point in the night where, like, it, it's it's midnight. It's midnight. By the time we actually get in a car, it's going to be like one o'clock. By the time we get home in LA, it might be one thirty or two. That was like one of the only nights I, I've been concerned because I hadn't heard from you as well. Yeah. Uh, like any time I pulled out my phone, she'd be like, "What are you doing? Who are you talking to?" And and she was. She was trying to do her best to pull me into her little world, which that's fine, but not when you're fucking drunk, right? So whenever not when you're the HR manager yeah. either. So when uh, my friend and I, and thankfully my friend is the one that made the call, and she's like, you know what? I'm I'm actually getting really tired. I'm gonna take Miss Queeb, and we're we're gonna go ahead and go home. Do you want us to uh, drop you? And thankfully. This HR person, another of her friends had shown up, but he was off doing whatever at the same place. Like there were a couple of different bars in this area, like on the street. So he was literally bar hopping and I had met him. And when we were trying to leave, he showed up and he randomly said, oh yeah, you know what? I I saw a really cute guy. I'm actually going to go home with him. And I'm like, fuck, okay. And so this woman, this HR person, I, I've literally only had the job two days. She's like, no, I'm okay. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. And I'm like, fuck me. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, my friend was able to convince her to get in a car with us. She wanted to drive. She wanted to drive. Uh, we were able to convince her to uh, to get in the Uber with us, and she was in the Uber, but she lived furthest away, so we got dropped off first. My friend had her cell number. I See, I didn't even have this woman's cell number, uh, so she was able to check in on her and talk to her on the phone. We got dropped off. The whole night, I'm worried. Like, I don't know her well. In, like, I, I don't know her address. I don't know where she lives. I don't know what part in town she lives. I, I knew nothing about this woman. Um, and so my friend was able to kind of keep in touch with her. And at one point, after we got dropped off, the, the HR person called my friend and was on the phone with her for three hours. She just, she got home. She just started talking and then she set the phone down and she started doing other stuff and my friend came uh she or rather she texted me and she's like hey if you were up i was gonna come over i'm i'm not gonna be able to go to sleep anytime soon because she's uh 
she's she's on the phone and i can hear what she's doing she's like puttering around the house but i want to make sure that she's okay and it was just it was such a shitty situation for someone to be in much less someone who's only been on the job for two days and then whenever i went back to work uh that was a friday night i went back to work monday and there was a guy that was hired on at the same time i was and i told him and he's like yeah, she's a bit of an alky. And I'm like, what? <laughs> an and he's like, oh yeah, like like that that's like she she is an alcoholic. And the, just the way and like he no embarrassing embarrassment about it. He's like, yeah, she's an alcoholic. And I'm like, what? Like, okay, why isn't she in a in a program or or or? Like what? Like 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 why is this okay? And they're like, ah, oh, she's just being her. She's she's a fun drunk. And it, that kind of sealed the deal for me. I'm like, you know what? I I am I will never be drunk. Like uh, there there is no reason for it. extremely high functional and at the same time, like just she tried to start a fight with us because she didn't want to leave and thankfully when she heard that her friend was leaving <clears throat> her friend was going to go home with someone she got pissed off at him and was able to deflect it and we were all able to be like okay let's go home and let's go and it's fine you gotta want to get help before. exactly and to my knowledge even after she left she did not get help which that's not on me especially that's not on me for going out with this person on the second day like I it was pitched to me as this this guy that I know is playing a concert I think it would be cool do you want to go hang out your friend like my friend she uh I was giving her rides to and from work and so she would like get dropped off at where I worked and I would drive us home and so she happened to be there and that's how they met and figured out that they actually know each other and they're uh they have a connection and it was like a very on the fly thing I didn't want to do it but I'm like you know what I'm in LA <clears throat> I need to get out of my comfort zone make new friends this is a new friend let's try this and as soon as I was done, I'm like nope mm -mm. I'm good I'm good I'm good <laughs> leave me the fuck alone Having ADHD myself, I get the whole Mary Jane thing. Uh, Zeph, thank you so much. Have a good night. Take it easy, dude. Oh, speaking of, I need to check on... Mary Jane. Hold on one sec. Mm, taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I'd be delivery, I think. <laughs> That's new. Okay. <laughs> Wow. All right. Oh, I love discovering new shit in the game. Oh, no, no, no. When it comes to pizza, we do not lose track of time in this household. Oh, I'm so dead. Fuck off. All right. Well, doubters win that one. Wow. I went way too hard on, on blood donor machines. It did not pan out according to plan. 30% that time went against. That's fair. That's fair.
Uh, Dread Joker, if you're still here, congrats on getting I Am First and Best today. I heard there was some kerfuffle with it not being available. Very weird. I don't know why. Okay, another one. Looks good to me, man. Damage is rough, but other than that, we're doing okay. Car battery. Well, that won't work at all with uh, the horse, but we might be able to swap out later. Something a little bit more functional. Near the top? You're talking about the horse? So when I say flight is the best, what would you call it? An attribute? A function? I don't mean a specific item, but I will take the horse over most other active items until we get flight independent of this. for the hearts though we're going for the hearts all right hey Fonzie what's up how's life today um minor technical issue earlier with my controller um the left thumbstick just fucking crapped out. Left was fine. Going right was not fine. Um, it was like sometimes fast, sometimes like real slow. I could recalibrate, but that's the second time it fucked up. The first time we see, saw it fuck up was in um, Hyperlight Drifter, where... Um, Uh, where it was, uh, whenever I'd aim with the left thumbstick, it would kind of like jump all over the place. Very weird. Um, so I, I immediately went and ordered another one on Amazon. How was the game watching yesterday? Great. Good game. Had some pretty fucking surprising game breaking bugs in it. Um, I was like legit shocked to see them still in the game. It's very weird to me. Um, but it was very good. It was very good. Um, there was a couple of puzzles that weren't very well explained. And uh, working out how they worked was, was a lesson in frustration alone. Like, yeah, not, not fun at all. Take the gift. Just drop it in the secret room, see what's up. Yeah, okay. Did you finish it? Yep. Yep, we did get stuck on a bug. I restarted. Sorry, one sec.
Has it ever occurred to you that maybe the corners were my favorite part too? But the joy you get from eating the corners, I let you have them so you experience that joy. Do you understand? Okay, fantastic. So I'm gonna finish eating my one corner and I'm gonna give you the other three, okay? You're welcome, Mr. Queep. Pizza discussion, you wouldn't understand, it's okay. Um, that is tempting. She, what can I say? She treats me very well. Alright, we need a few more cents. And I need more money. Money we may not get. We'll see. Lump of coal I'm certainly not uh, disappointed in. That's completely fine. It's a fucking good item. No money. No money, no health. Uh, hmm. How much do I want to push this? Yeah, casually challenged. We we ended up running into um, a pretty hefty bug where the final, well, not the final, but one of the the last dark cubes you need to pick up was rotated the wrong way. First time the game introduced that to me, and um, yeah. That's how the entire world, other than everyone in the United States, spells lasagna. Um, but according to Webster's, that is now an acceptable way to, to say it. Fuck it, let's do it. Two more. What should I get though? That's the question. Sack head. Yeah, we get a sack from that. Had a, had a coin in it. That's good, right? Nothing to lose, bud. Nothing to lose. We going we going for the big risk here. What do we got? A six. That sucks. Oof. You'd have stacked Swallowed Penny with Piggy Bank. Uh, either, either was viable. Um, I left both behind, you probably noticed. Oh, you've been nerfed cool too. Cool, cool, cool. Love it. Thanks, Ed. They have just fucking shafted some of these items, man. In a surprising turn of events as well.
people are earning too much money from golden rocks and they're getting it too easy with with the, the black hole fix it i don't care just fix it So that was in Repentance. I don't remember that. Okay, maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe I'm wrong. It still seems like such a trivial fucking change though. Um, like you, you don't earn shit from, from those. It's so ridiculous. Pugnacious one. Everything's going just great tonight. Ms. Queeb and I have uh, pizza on, on the way. Uh, which is here, actually. Sorry, I take that back. It is here. What else? Um, we got a, a delivery from Twitch. We got a nice little care package from Twitch. Pretty dope. Um, uh, the game of the day is Bioshock. I'm actually really excited by that. I haven't played that in... 10 years? More? I don't know. Fucking long time. Shot speed up. Speed up. Pretty good floor. You posted some work in progress art. Oh, Crow, thank you very much for the 35, 25 minutes. Oh, that's any percent. All right. Or no, no percent, which doesn't activate anything. Fucking hell. Okay, cool. That'll be great. Great uh, media to consume. Let me check. Sorry. Uh, did you put it in the art? You did. That, my friend, is one of your best ones. That's gorgeous. That's incredible, dude. Nicely done. All right, we got we gotten some good uh, good pickups here. Shoop. Um, one of the things Twitch sent me, I thought it was a little light, but um, it's a phone charger in the the glitch logo. Isn't that cool? I don't know if I should have it at my desk or at my bed. Probably my bed, actually. Yeah. Although I, I do have a super fast charger at in bed. So. It's like a 30 watt phone charger. Thank you, Miss Queeb. Does that meet your approval? It's beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Oh, peels. Full health. Shut speed up. That I probably shouldn't increase too much. We're... We're getting on a bit there. Still got car battery. Need to use that properly as well. What is going on? I smell food. I want it. You 
you don't have an excuse to be on your phone at night. That's a great idea. When I go to bed, it's normally, um, I mean, it's, it's very late and, and usually after a very long stream and I'm pretty wired. So I do, I do use my phone guilty. We're down to 338. Oh boy. Should probably start donating here. Non-triangular pizza and dipping sauce. That's the way it comes. I don't know. Um, and I'm all for anything that is easier to eat. Triangular pizza is not that. That's why I use a knife and fork. That'll get you riled up. Want some quibbles that you did dude yeah i fucked up <laughs> surprise surprise <laughs> i went i went too deep we, we probably had a winning run albeit a rather standard boring sort of run um but i went i went too deep on the the blood donation machine Some people do get like pissed off. I, rem I remember I told this story before, but I have some, I have European family. And when we went there, um, they made fun of me for the way I eat spaghetti. Not only did I, well, I, I cut my spaghetti. Um, tip, you can eat so much fucking faster when you can just shove gob full of fulls of it in your mouth um and they were all using you know the, the spoon and and the fork method and i'm just sitting there like what are you guys doing you fucking wasting your time right now it's hilarious <laughs> Did we just find a secret room and the ultra secret? Yeah, shame we don't have a red key right now. What is it about rotten hearts that I don't like? They're only worth half a heart. And uh, in womb and onwards, you will lose that plus another half a heart. If you take damage. Man, I'm speaking of taking damage. Uh, we seem to be taking an awful lot here. Bad dodging with the temperance. The what method? The spoon. You scoop up some on a fork, and then because it's kind of hanging everywhere, you get the spoon and you put the, the end of the fork into the spoon and you twirl it. Right? We're talking about 
15 seconds worth of work here. Once it's all twirled up into a ball, you eat it. You still get it all over your face. Me? None of that shit. I spend a good 30 seconds to a minute pre-eating. Um, working on my uh, technique and, and, and all the rest. And once, uh, once I'm satisfied with the length and, and cut... I just eat the shit out of it, and it is gone super fast. Good spaghetti you don't want to fuck around with. That's what I'm saying. We have PhD? We do! Nice. Experimental pill. Min, -ma Min Max is in real life. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. You just turn it on the plate. Uh, Frost Man, I think that's... It comes from the Italian side of my family. Hi. Can I help you? Oh, you want some? Fuck, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Here you go, don't drop it on the floor. Good? Yeah? Papa gets the pizza, Papa gets whatever the fuck she wants. She's so spoiled. That's it, huh? All right, let's go. Got 29 cents. We got two, or oh, one beggar to, to pay out on. So. She always go for pizza cut crust. Yeah, this one, this one's particular. Some things um, have to have the red sauce on them. And she has to see you dipping it, which is just fucking hilarious. Um, Um, but I, we, we, Ms. Queeb and I have been eating some of the jams we opened in the advent calendar that we had. And, um, I gave her some, like, we got these mini bagels to go with. Really good, by the way. Um, but I gave her some with the jam on it, and she sort of, she bites it because she's excited because it's, like, it's human food and she's allowed to have some, so it's very, it's a big deal. And then she sort of just... Drops it on the ground, and then I gave her some without the jam on it, and she just gobbled that shit up. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know, no taste, but it's a new flavor for her, so maybe. The world. Oh, hello. Wow. All right. Right next to this room. Gee, I wonder what I should do here. Ah, we already have seventy-five percent though. Where's the shop? Hmm. I want to see if we have, uh, Let's see if we have a uh, Soli in the shop. Be nice. For the item room too. Might as well. Two more rooms here. And 
Please don't be a fight. We should be good to go. Wow. Even better. Oh my god. Puberty. Hammett does what? Alrighty. I'm going to do the thing. That was, I would call that a success, despite not getting an extra item. I mean, we, we did. <laughs> Let's use the hermit out here and collect like that. Did my machine break? I can't remember. Caves too. We're only in the caves? Oh wow, okay. Hello Ari. Tears too. Good stuff. Yeah, we did break the machine. Okay. Uh, holidays were great. I mean, very low key. I've been here almost the entire time. Doing a little, uh, what do you call it? Little event. Uh, but it's been fun. I've had a great time doing it. And... Say forever doesn't really help us. Um, found a, a bunch of new games and and that's cool. Uh, found my new favorite game of all time, which is, which is also very cool. A game I'll never forget. Uh, that would be the Outer Wilds. Oh, 
What's it about? I'm not going to say a word. Just that if you can, grab it. Uh, it is a space adventure. With M and Pony, you think you could softlock yourself? Ah, uh, maybe actually. Mm. Depends when it would activate, I guess. Whether after you landed, yeah, maybe. Would be at time of activation would change, but you'd still be in motion. Maybe. Maybe they've thought of that too. Who knows? Um, and to clarify, it's Outer Wilds, not Outer Worlds. Um, one of the reasons I didn't discover the game until very recently was because of that marketing snafu. Excuse me one moment, I am starving. Sorry, she dropped it on the ground. I'll be back.
All right, we back. If Miss Creep is not here. She says thanks for the update. Okay. All right, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, right. Okay. This guy again. Lovely. Have I played Satisfactory? No. I think I own it. That's not for me. Anything with crafting in it, pretty much rule it out. Jesus fish, lovely item. Let's go. Uh, your previous alias was limited, limitless soup. Um, hello, Rick McNasty. The fan is all on. I said the house was cold. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's like it's the fans are on in every room, so. I guess I just have to get over that. <clears throat> do it? Why? Typical Zeus. Why, why would I do that? Do you like the item? Would you, would you take that item? You would? Oh, right on. I wouldn't. It's shit. Like there's bad items, right? And then in a, in a typical tier list, um, you would have, I guess, bad as like D or F or whatever, right? And then there would be another category called TM Trainer and it would be one item in it. Um, funnily enough, the item by the same name, um, Yeah, there's no fucking way. You're a fan of the zany? Again. There's Zany and then there was whatever the fuck you want to call TM Trainer. <laughs> it's it's just it's just unfun. Luck up, nice. Uh, bummer. What was this one? I was I can see forever, okay. Well, I I need literally nothing here. Ah, should, should I take that one too, Zeus? 
that item? There's another category. It's called Shard of Glass. Um, it's weird. It's, these categories only have one item in them. No, oh, McQueeb, Shard of Glass is really good. That's a good item. Fuck yeah, let's go. It does stop bleeding at half a heart. But you will lose them all up until that point, yep. You do have additional firepower as well, so it's, I guess... Um... <laughs> I guess it's a positive in <laughs> some weird way. Later, Pugnacious. Come on, let's get some damage ups or something. Another full health bill. Right on. Okay. Well, shit. I'm going to have to play it again. <clears throat> Maybe. Sucks. Do we need pony? I'm not flying without it. Unless you know something I don't. I don't think we collected. I don't think we collected flying. Yep, I've definitely thought about the sack room. You don't need to worry about that, folks. We will get there. Ain't gonna blow four blue hearts if I don't have to. We had wings? From what? An angel transformation? I ain't counting it. Cracked orb. <clears throat> Cracked orb. What's our speed? 117. Mm, I'm going to keep it for now. That's awesome.
I, I didn't even notice that. That's hilarious. That door should be open, yeah? Yeah, okay. What does that alt do? Extra, extra health. The one with one health up. I think it makes you slightly bigger too. Maybe. Zoe, what are you doing? Yeah, you can stay there. Are you okay? What's you scared of? Hmm? What's you scared of? Yeah. Yeah, you can stay there. It's okay. Just don't go under the desk, okay? Dangerous. It's hot. Um, I was so tired last night that I, I started a, uh, a Black Mirror episode and then just passed out. It was the third episode of the first season called The Entire History of You. It's the one about the, uh, implants in your, in your eye or in your neck rather that records everything. The green one, yep, yep, yep. But I passed out. I, I can't even remember where I was up to. I'm going to have to scroll back now. And that's technology that they reintroduced throughout. Chris has a good story about Black Mirror. I'm down. One of my favorite series ever, right behind, uh, right behind, uh, Breaking Bad. <clears throat> Have I seen them all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, many times. What you doing, baby? What you doing? It's always behaving very oddly. Striking Vipers? Okay, go on. I thought that episode was great. It was really good. <clears throat> Wait, you met 
You met Chris in a in a striking vipers game? Pretty dope. Why am I full clearing here? Fuck. Too much damage. Um, I met Miss Queeb through Farmville. Or yeah, Farmville. Everything was way more intense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's understandable. <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. Luck. Luck up. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright, we, we maybe need to talk more on that later. <laughs> We don't have to we don't have to go into details now. is not what I need. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, absolutely. If it takes a piece of media for you to realize who you are, that's, uh, that's good. Go. Coin tier is probably a little bit unnecessary at this point. Love a damage up. Mm. Cool. Cool. Loot or die. How are you doing, buddy? What's going on, man? That 
that wasn't the way, but we should be able to get into. Yep. Cool. Big damage up, nice. And a health up, no less. Interesting. Uh, tonight's game of the day, if you're curious. Bioshock. Cool. Four hits in one room. We'll be playing the remastered edition. Yeah, loot, yes. Yeah, we I've played through it many times. Many, many years ago, though. Like, many, many years ago. They've nerfed the shit out of Echo Chamber as well. Still... Mm, decent ish. I think they've made it even more nerfed now as well. Sun card, no shit. It's a nerf with certain cards, a buff with others. Just three copies per card. No. So now you can only use the last three cards that you picked up. You can use the same one again. Um, definitely been nerfed though. If you use Lover's card, you can't kill yourself by using 12 other cards and pills in a row. Or 6 to many. It's been nerfed. Majorly nerfed. I'm sorry, I'm not sure why you disagree with what I'm saying, but yeah. Just speed 152, we can ditch the horse now.
Just die. Yes, black bean. Thank God for that. Let's go. Thank you, Bozo. I'm not flying anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I wasn't flying. Eh, whatever. All right, put it up. Switch on over real quick. I have to set it up. I did download Bioshock, but I'll have to run it and get everything right. All right, prediction outcome. Yes, that one we did win. Okay. I'm going to probably take a little bit to set up. We dropped the horse item? No, no, no. That We knew we were flying. Don't fuck with me. Why are you doing this? It's one of those games. Why is it messing with my resolutions on different screens? I'll fix it. I wonder if I should use the controller or the keyboard. Oh, you can't even use the... Okay. Additional content. Welcome to the Bio Bioshock Challenge Rooms. No. Options. Graphics options. Anisotropic filtering, bump it, field of view, 100, whatever, mouse, cursor, scale, windowed mode, on, vertical sync on, anti-aliasing on, maintained UI aspect ratio on. Oh, it's not even full screen windowed? Come on, dudes. See the shit that's going on over here? Oh, fucking gets, gets my goat. Fortunately, I have a shortcut that will fix that for me. Although, if I switch back, fucking busted ass game. Pissed off already. I have a foot pedal set up. One of its functions is to do exactly that. 
on this screen just so I don't have to mess around with it too much. Use gamepad, auto aim, invert log. All right, that seems good. Audio, stereo, reverb. It's fine. Gameplay options. Difficulty medium. Adaptive training. Dialogue subtitles, yes. Art subtitles. Let's see what that is. Disable Vita chambers. No. No, don't do that. Item shimmer. Usable object highlight. Okay. Alright, now we have to add it to... This over here. Bioshock. Specific window. Bioshock. To be fair, 99.9% .9 of games work just fine on this display. And I know this display is the problem. Because it's an, it's an ultra-wide that's technically split into two. Um... Oh, this game does not like me at the moment. Wow. Okay. Bioshock. Remastered? Game of the day. Okay, hopefully we don't have to switch it to uh, back to the original, but we'll give it a shot. So people in, in chat said that this was the, it was an okay version. So we, we shall see. Okay, that's working. Get rid of that. Or go back. Back here, of course, that's going to fuck with that. Please don't. And it takes complete control too. This this is basics, man. Like not talk, not talking about the remastered version or anything like that, but this is stuff that you'd think you'd be able to get get right. I always like that. Director's commentary. That's interesting. Until the gray, the dark gray box is just barely visible against the black background. Literally nothing is changing here. Cool. Yeah, good. All right, I am very excited. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. There's my subtitles. They were right. Hey, ordinary. It is a it is a truly brilliant game. Uh, we're playing the remastered version. Whether or not we'll have to change that, I'm not exactly sure. It does have problems apparently that have not been resolved. But uh. It's 
smash out spoilers again? Ah, uh, I mean, I'll I'll let people know if if it gets too much. I don't. Uh, there's nothing that can be spoiled in this game for me. Um, so uh, would you kindly just go to sleep, get some rest? Well, it's pretty. Much higher resolution, that's for sure. I'm going to crank my volume locally as well. I want to hear more. It's a bit better. Oh no, we've been locked in. I love the artwork, I love the music. Steph now wants to play it again. Do it! If people have a good time with this, I wouldn't mind playing through all of them. I haven't finished Infinite. I found it really boring, actually. <laughs> okay, so... Some subtitles are working. Let me check that. Dialogue subtitles on. Just not during a cutscene, apparently. Okay. You finished it for the sake of finishing it. What extension do I use for CC? Good question, Loot. Um, it's a plugin for Chrome. Look for Google. Sorry, it's a plugin for OBS. Look for Google OBS um, CC. And I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. What did you choose, Andrew I Ryan? Chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Oh my God, what a reveal. Jellies! I don't own Minerva's Den. I own... I think everything but that. I might pick it up. It's only like four bucks. Correct, yes, yeah, yeah. The splices are coming. It's weird that the... We have no idea who Atlas is at the moment, right? And it's weird that the, the closed captioning gives you that information off the bat. Like most games, when you don't, like... Final Fantasy, any of them. If you're talking to a brand new character, it's question marks, right? You do not know who that is. It's like, it's Atlas. One more minute. Spear. Spear coming up now. Johnny, security, right at all, 
Oh, it's a splicer. Yeah, I'm a I'm a wrench man myself. Same with Dead Space. It's the uh, the beam cutter weapon for me, or or nothing. See, splicer female. Why? Why let us know that? Oh no, she's getting in. Oh, we're in trouble now, boys. Shortwave radio? This one? This change will not take effect until game is restarted. Oh, okay. Just reverb and stereo mode. That's fine. Um, let's get music down a bit. Sound effects down a bit. Yeah. And then I'll bump it a little further on my end as well. Bit better. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. Spoiler alert, he leaves us twisting right. in the wind. But you're gonna have to trust me. Ryan doesn't own us. Dead Space is getting remastered. That one I'm excited about. Yep. And yes, I will be playing that on stream. Oh, Zoe. Oh, she's sitting right next to me too. I'd imagine that's what this place smells like. Where's my brightness? I can't adjust brightness here? Of course not. Bloody spices. There we go. Final weapon of the game. Heal? No, I've got a B to use heal. Okay. That's auto heal. Right, got it. Food, food stuffs heal you. Never get over that in one man's vision mankind's salvation in video games it's like you eat a bag of chips and all of a sudden your mortal wounds are a little bit less less bad
It is odd that he never gets tempted to use that. Like, sorry, prompted to use that. <clears throat> this little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Here's the question. Are we saving or sacrif- uh, Yeah, saving or sacrificing. Save, kill, save. Wow. Okay, we're divided already. I, I want those plasmids. You know I want those plasmids. <laughs> Look, Mr. Bubbles. It's an angel. No idea what the kill side looks like. Coming from his belly. Wait a minute. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. Save pays out in the long run? I can't remember that far back. You all right, boy? Killing him makes the game harder. Interesting, I don't recall that at all. I always thought I just got so fucking uber powerful that nothing else really mattered. You've also never done genocide? You're changing your vote? You get gifts when you save them. Right, but it's... It, it's nowhere near as much that makes up for it, right? If you save them all, you do end up with more Adam. Oh, okay, so it's like a short-term gain kind of deal. I was, this, this segment right here, the first time I played it, I was just like, mouth to the floor. I was like, this is unreal. Games will never get better than this. Spoiler alert, they did. Splicers! LB to equip plasmid. Health gain, but Eve lost from drinking. Ah, it's auto recharge. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The one two punch. Run, run. Hey, Talat Jamal, how you doing? Plays nicely on the controller. Up we go, down we go. Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe, I 
Yeah, ca casually, 100%, yeah. For me, it was the way they told the story. It hadn't been done quite like this before. Oh, I better tell Miss Queeb that we're actually playing this because uh, she did say she wanted to watch it. Zoom in. Is there a way to... No. Yeah, the way they the way they told the story and and the, the just sort of this gradual build up of a, of all these different elements coming together, it's really well done. I am surprised by that like immediate. Oh, cool! I found a syringe. Never used one before. <laughs> Or have I? Straight in. And it's like, that's weird. That there's a plasmid. Give me a sec, folks. I'm just going to go tell Ms. Queeb that uh, we are playing this BRB. All right. Should be in a, in a little bit. Thuggish splicer, not anymore. Do you can well? That's a good question. That's a that's a good mor morality question. Do you continue to remain thuggish once you are dead? How do I? Jump. Reload. That was a health waste. Okay. A is interact. Ah! fuck was that? Okay, cool. We've got some some physics fuckery. No, I want the cheese, which is uh... Or is that cake? It's probably cheese cake. The Charlie's not home. It's our first little bit of cash. Nice, nice, nice. Remember to save often. In the last section, all right. 
Oh, uh, we got we we got bugs in the last section. We were, I was warned about the remake. It's one thing Miss Queeve said. She looked up. Death to Ryan! Cigarette smoke. Costs health. But... Okay, so it's the opposite of alcohol. I gotta eat, eat my pep bar. Expert gamer has arrived. Welcome. He's arrived. <laughs> Think you're muted, Miss Queep. How about that? There we am go. I, Hello. Am I better? Expert gamer, we've been waiting for you this entire time. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Um, how has your day been? Are you doing okay today? This is the first time expert gamer has been with us, Miss Queen. Oh no, I see. But he he announced his arrival. Oh, he wanted so to make, make sure, sure that we knew. I, I want to make sure that he knows that I know. But like we're we're good. Uh, <laughs> the monkey is correct. The show can start now because expert underscore gamer underscore sixty seven has fucking arrived. Do you think there's two expert gamers that came before him, or that came off? I think he is the probably. 67th person who has chosen that username. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. There's at least 66. <laughs> but I'm glad he's here. I've been waiting. Or or she. Or they. I'm, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Literally, I've been in the other room waiting for Queeb to tell me. Hey. Expert gamers here. I forgot about the hallucinations. Hey Brenda, you care to tell me why you had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going on three? By the way, the Papa John's pizza, not terrible. Worth the price. I can't carry any more H. Um, Healy boys. Healy boys. Hmm. Sergeant Kenai, were you waiting too for Expert Gamer? I was. Thank you for the follow, Expert Gamer. Very kind. Oh, he's not even in the room anymore. <laughs> Uh, Ms. Queen, did you get I did not. I did not leave today. I felt uh, I was extremely tired. I didn't go to bed till I mean, you guys saw like four or five o'clock. Um, I was exhausted. Uh, I took a nap. 
And uh, yeah, I did not leave the house. I, in fact, I actually, I still have the browser window open that I was using to search for a local uh, markets to see where I could like potentially find the ships. I'm going to find them. Can you turn your input volume down ever so slightly, Miss Creep? My input volume? Yeah. So you are telling me to, to turn my input volume down? Yes. Okay, what about now? It's a little bit better. Okay, what about now? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, no, he... He questioned, or he used to question constantly, like, did you touch anything? And I, I didn't, so I'm making sure he knows. I have not touched anything. I only, I only moved it because he told me to. Papa John's is very edible, which is really good quality for pizza to have. Yeah, like it, it's like it's. It, it was decent. I wasn't expecting amazingness, and I never do. Like I personally think, out of the, the three. Uh, the big three, I would say, personally, Domino's is the best. But, uh, Papa John's, it's, it's doable. Stephanie is correct. Paper is also edible. Anything's edible. Stephanie's got something against Papa John's. I need everyone to take note of uh, chat at 10.08 p.m. on this, this uh, December 28th, 2021. Sergeant Keenister has spoken gospel with his best pizza is the Totino Square Pizza. That is gospel, my friend. And of course it came from you. Of course it did. Who else would it come from? Nobody. I have one in the freezer right now. Queeb has had it, and he said it was, like, an extremely good grocery store pizza. And I told him it was, like, a dollar fifty. He's like, it's a dollar? Like, yeah, it's a dollar fifty. Uh, Miss Qu Miss Queeb, you've not seen this game, or you have? I have not. I did not uh, play it, because, one, um, it seemed like it was very intense and when i say that i mean like there's like a lot of stuff to do like it's in depth um and then also because of the potential freaky deaky nightmare stuff okay so, so do you want a quick breakdown i'm going to ask you a very important question maybe you should wait until the moment it happens i i i i i, I don't know how to answer that for you no i'm gonna wait okay, okay. we have a choice to make we can change okay. our choice as well, okay. but um, yeah, chat, chat is split down the middle on this one. Okay. Just let, let, let me know when, when you need an expert to weigh in. I have a local place that makes really weird pizzas every few months. We used to live uh in the same neighborhood as one pizza like we stumbled onto it it just it was in the area we wanted a pizza place obviously before panini press and found it pretty good um we ate it there and a lot of la pizza places they only do like the the mexican coke bottles they don't do like fountain drinks uh but like aside from that it was an amazing pizza it was very good and then uh we had it for delivery a few times after that, and it just, eh. But, uh, but yeah, like, they, they did, like, very weird combinations. Peaches and jalapenos, what? Why am I walking like this? I'm not wounded. I don't know. Maybe it's, uh... Oh, I was crouching, never mind. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, for sure, dollar fifty totinas is hard to beat. If I had... Look, if 25% of my freezer wasn't taken up by frozen rats, it would be taken up by Totino's pizzas. Probably a fact right there, yep. It, that is factual. It absolutely is.
Fun fact, hut is the German word for hat, and when the chain came to Germany, some thought the red roof was a pizza hat. I believe that. Absolutely believe that. Oot. <laughs> it's not too freaky deaky, but it's a really good story, Miss Queeb. Oh, is he talking about the Fey or not to Fey? I told you they did weird stuff the crazier. Talat Jamal, that's the third time you've asked for food pictures. Let's let's hold up. Let's give us some time. As Creep said yesterday, in a few days we would have them for you. It will be in the food section. Yeah, you get you y'all gotta slow down. I've barely been functional. I'm dealing with the child who keeps trying to eat my couch. How, how much of my shit do you think I have together right, right at this very moment? Queeb knows what I'm about to say. There is a pizza place here in the area. When I say the area, I mean LA area. Um, they have my favorite pizza and it's basically like salami and like spicy pepperoni and pepper jack cheese and pepperoncinos and pineapple and it's amazing. It's super good. It's just, it, it's fantastic. I was just checking to see if there was any actual threat there. There was none. Jamal, no, you're cool. Don't, don't even worry about it. It, it will absolutely happen, I promise. I was actually over there um, because I need to, I, you know, I have to go to the store at some point this week, so I'm like seeing what he needs and what he might want, and I was already like cataloging that stuff, so don't even worry about it. It's coming, I promise, though. At least you have your couch together because the child keeps trying to eat it and has not since... Oh, the couch is... I literally stood up the couch on its end to prevent him from eating the couch anymore, and now he's trying to chew on the legs, so I'm like... I... I I'm... I'm... I'm just... I'm, I'm tapped out. I'm, I'm tapped out. I had some meat on as well. Can't remember which meat it was a pork product. But be interested in seeing what someone else eats. Where is it? I need local. This one? Um, it's in... Where is it? I don't know what it's classified as. Hold on. It's, it's in Burbank. I got two achievements for that. <laughs> Last pizza special day ran was not as strange. It was Nashville hot pizza, Nashville spicy chicken and pickles. Oh my God. <laughs> no pickles, please. Sergeant Keenizer says, I love this hacking system. Lots of monies. Pick up the monies. All love the monies. Pick them up. Oh, there's a telekinesis thing, right? That's how you get a... Yeah, I remember. I don't. Did I just like close out the window so I can't see the video? <laughs> Keep away from my I have no idea what's going on. Did I miss that much? Well, you've talked over a lot, but no, um, watched. But, but thank you. No, there's you haven't missed a lot. You sassy today. You very sassy. It's interesting, the, the little uh, helper pointer steers you in the right direction all the time, um, but it's not always there. Security emergency access. Bathosphere. Up the stairs then. I'm not the biggest fan of, um... Uh, 
what do you call it? Uh, mini games for for hacking systems and, and stuff like that. Like the lock picking in uh, Skyrim is probably the one that springs to mind immediately. Oh, I'm getting shot from up here. Okay, yep. So, Miss Quaid, this is very much an action game. But it's cool story. That's a powerful weapon, huh? Twenty-nine days of playing, streaming, thirteen hours a day. I don't know what the average is. It's not quite that high, but it's a lot. Special ammo. Ah, right. Okay, so pick the right ammo. Ammo for the right enemy. Armor piercing rounds. Got it. Am I gonna play blue fire? I don't even know what that is. The parasite eats three things free market, free will, and free men. My how long does my little hacky bot stay with me? Tarts are friendly and will attack enemies. You can buy it out. 
Okay. Got a couple of busted ones, no problem. Oh wow, okay. I get it. They murder, that sounds amazing. Is there a reason why she got you that specific number? Because I know you're not 72 years old. Doll hairs. Seventy two for Hero Roshi. <laughs> On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the street looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. See, this, this is already getting tedious. So if we upgrade it later, maybe we get some for free. I can't exactly remember. Not what I would call an amazing hacking system. I guess I don't even need to do it, really. Protect me, turret. Do your job. Jesus. What do they call them? Leatherhead? Leadhead. Not sure why. Because they're shooting? Because they shoot lead. Well, that mean that makes sense. turret though I am beautiful yeah. I am playing with the controller yep what could I do to make my features finer with Adam and my scalpel I have been transformed but is there not something now it is not my skill that fails me, but my imagination. Ah, we need, uh, yeah, 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 I remember. Value. 
It has been brought to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vendor. Oh, you can hack the... Yeah, yeah, I remember. Got it. On which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. Steinman, I know medical pavilion is your matter. But you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's colder than a witch's colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes. The pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then rapture leaks. Now, I realize you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. No, there are no beanies on the uh on the store at present. We had one on there, but the quality was pretty it's bad. Shit. Yeah, it's complete shit. Um, it's like a dollar store quality, and our price—not your price, but our price—would have been thirteen dollars to even get it printed. Yeah. yeah, it was like complete bullshit. So um, we wisely opted no. I know, right? We could just sell a, a plain, plain, the one, what, what about the one we bought the other day? The, so Miss Queeb <laughs> surprised me with, uh, about half a dozen? Yes. Beanies of different types. Um, and we had a bit of a fashion show the other day and, uh, we selected, we found one that was pretty good. Now, whether or not we'll be able to get that and put it up on the store, probably not. Or at least not easily. I'm sure I could find it. Um, why aren't you uh, wearing it? No, that's a going out beanie. Oh. I'm going to wear this one till the day I die, oh. babe. Oh. Mm. oh. 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 Okay. I didn't know. Okay. I don't know, Stephanie. I like. I, I'm assuming. I'm new to this whole thing. Apparently, there's going out beanies. There's special occasion beanies. There's sleeping beanies. There's shower beanies. To this day, I have yet to see his actual head. Someone hypothesized that there is no skull. That it's just filled with rats, and that's what I'm thinking. It's just rats. He's just like this big, like Jaeger that's piloted by rats. Chris has that but with shorts. <laughs> there are jelly beanies. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Nitro splicer. In memory of Winston Hefner. His fancy shorts. He busted those out on your first date? That's how you know it's serious. It's exactly the same, but he says they're different. <laughs> I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ryan's eyes and ears. <laughs> That's very cute. So far, out of everything you've ever told me, Yessie is a Scorpio. 
Yes, he is. Is that his son or his moon? Well, I would assume it's just his son because she didn't say anything else. So I recently redid Cleve's natal chart. Um, I've, I've done it before. I've known what he is. Like, it's fine. And I changed, uh, I normally use Astro Seek. I ran it through Astro Seek and then ran it through, um, I think it was CoStar at the time. And it was like consistent, right? So CoStar has a history of, uh, the CoStar has confessed to, uh, randomly giving bad horoscopes to people. I smell. Like your daily little alert, like every day you would get like a, oh, hey, you know, today's the time to put up or shut up. So they, they admitted that they'd been fucking around with that and just basically like fucking with people, right? Hasn't that, it, like, isn't that notorious for how, like they do it in the newspapers and stuff? Like forever? I, I think so. I'm not sure. Um, so I had deleted that app from my phone got a new phone. I'm only just now starting to put all my horoscope and tarot apps back on my phone. And I, I, I re-added an app and I added my stuff and then I added Quib's stuff. My, my Taurus sun, Gemini moon, baby, is not a Taurus sun, Gemini moon. He is a Taurus sun, Taurus moon. And now every fucking thing makes sense. Well, Taurus Everything. is the best, right? It, it is the absolute fucking worst. Like no, on the on the grand. The, oh, oh no no oh no no. The it grand the tier list of fucking mm. horoscope mm. charts, Taurus is number one. It's I'll, like I, I S plus. A, nope. I would marry a triple Pisces before I would willingly marry a double Taurus. But you did the exact opposite of that. Uh, I thought I was marrying a Taurus sun, Gemini moon. You lied to me. <laughs> I didn't say shit. Why did I lie? Oh, yeah. uh, so everything makes sense. Basically, but it's my fault. I, I get it. Uh, it absolutely is. I thought that maybe I had input it wrong, so I redid it. I have no idea what has happened. It's literally the same information, except he is now a Taurus sun, Taurus moon. So your app changed. Uh, my, my app changed. Well, the app changed, yes. And then I, I redid it. I deleted the profile, redid it to make sure, like I'm not going crazy. No. And I went back through my, uh, my chart or my conversation history. Because you know, I was like, okay, is it a Mandela effect? Uh, am I going nuts? Am I delusional? But no. It, he he was a Taurus Sun Gemini Moon. Uh, I have no idea. Someone will not give me his time of birth and. 3 p.m. His... Are you sure it's 3 p.m.? Yep. And you've I'll asked me now. which city recently. Why? Well, I, I I know what city, but you've never given me the time before. Did your mother tell you the time? I think she did. Are you sure it's 3 p.m. and it's not like 3:05 or something like that? <laughs> There's a difference? Uh, it, it can change within like 10 minutes or so. I can't answer that. I have no idea. Okay. But you think it's around three? I think so. Okay. Uh, that's, so we can... that's the belief that I have been under this entire time. Okay. So let's run it with that and let's, let's fucking find this. <laughs> Stephanie's like, oh, oh. Do it. Please hold for the next available operator. All calls are monitored for quality control purposes. My name is Sandra. Can I get the last four digits on the back of your card, please? Log in. Um, you need to check exclamation mark Queeb vent. It's a lot. Because I have played it during this event. 
Okay, so he thinks... Not only that, but we're bringing it back to stream. Thinks it's 3 p.m., so let's try that. You are not a Libra rising. You are absolutely not a Libra rising. 10,000 fucking percent you are not. So let's... Let's try again, shall we? Let's try... Get the monies. Wait, there was a corpse there. Oh, under there. Okay. Um, Chris is an Aries rising. Oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Scorpio Sun, Aries rising, Capricorn. Oh, he is an extremely mean, serious man. Fuck. And he asked you to marry him? What? I have to be serious then. He's very much his big three. To be fair, I had a close friend in college who was a Libra and all he ever liked to wear was beanies and he loved his beard! <laughs> So how do I change my... Uh-huh. Never mind. So... Okay, so... No? Well, oh, the damage is real, huh? I bet I went the wrong way. So let's try that. Instead of going, like, forward, we're going to go backwards, so we'll go... Let's try 245. How do you just tank the damage? Uh, Instead... You stand there and don't move out of the way. And then you heal through the, through the pain. Here in turrets or cameras. Cameras in here. Is this where we get telekinesis? Is this Herr Doctor? Uh oh. New security tonic. Security. Engineering tonic security expert. For the hacker specializing in disabling electronic security measures, you won't be secure without security expert. That's more like it. I Stephanie, I believe he is a Virgo rising. So yes. I did marry a Taurus Taurus Virgo. So that's good, right? <laughs> right? So I tried going forward with this time because usually when someone's like, oh, it's around three. I tried like 15 minutes before, 15 minutes after, and it was still inside Libra. Um, I had to go with 2.20 p.m. But he's so close that he he could have both Virgo and Libra uh, traits on that ascension. It, so, it yeah. sounds, now correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you've got a little bit of confirmation bias going on. I don't, no. I just happen to know a lot about Virgos. Um, I know a lot about Libras. If you are a Libra rising, you have absolutely almost none of the traits. However, Virgo, you you. Oh, four, five, one. If I had to pick a sign for you that was not Taurus, that sign would be Virgo. 
you are you are very exact in what you how you want things how you need things to be if they are not that way <laughs> then everybody will suffer that is you dark kimberly not a problem try that one also try astro hyphen seek.com um but astro.com will have more of a uh um different uh chart types and it's more thorough oh shit Initially, I thought Queen Vent was McQueen venting out his frustrations. Not, about all not the, the first games. person to say that. So I think next year we'll just do Queebmas. Do the same thing. <laughs> just call it something else. I mean, yeah, it could be the, like literally call it Queebmas, and then we have a Queeb Vent calendar. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Look, we threw it together in two days. We did pretty good. I, I think we did pretty good. All things considered. More doll hairs. I am going to turn off. Uh... Yeah. Oh my god, I can't unsee the vent thing. <laughs> there it is again. Look, adjusting difficulty affects achievements. So antiquated. Pisses me off. Art subtitles. Let's turn that off. It's like, oh, if you lower the difficulty, fucking your shit, you no longer get access to achievements. Does this spawn new enemies? I wasn't aware it did that, but it seems to be the case. So the question I was going to ask before, and the one that Chad is pretty divided on, is whether or not we want to save the little, little sisters. Do you know what they are? Ms. Queeb, do you know what they are? No. Okay, so... How do I do this without being too spoilery? There's a science experiment known as Little Sisters in the game. Let's just say that for now. And um, we have a chance to either rescue them or the alternative is to harvest them. And uh, harvesting will make us stronger in the short term. But it's a negative thing. It's a, it's a bad thing. We're being mean, right? So, so if you, if you kill them, like what is, aside from killing them, what is the worst thing that happens? Like what, what do you So get somebody said them? it makes the game harder later on. I cannot confirm nor deny. My first playthrough did a, um, a harvest playthrough. And I don't remember the consequences being too bad at all. Um... But what's what's the benefit again of killing them? You get um, extra power ups without like going a lot in. Or like a, like it's a significant it... amount. Yes. Yeah. Then kill them. Kill the bitches. I mean, it's it's a game. You're not a murderer in real life. You're cool. Wait. I'm. I'm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Now, if we were talking about a dog, or a snake, or a cat, then uh, that's, that's a different story altogether. Yeet. Yeet it. <laughs> Jamal with the sad crying faces. You do get a significant amount of resources for saving them too. So then what, what right, I guess they're different? I think the timing is different. If I, if I'm, correct in my assumption here I did a bad job at explaining Talat Jamal will correct me now I mean I'd like to know because right now all I know but is he'll that... only correct me Miss Queeb 
if you take pictures of our food. Okay. <laughs> it's like if you, if, if you kill them, you get stuff, but if you save them, you get stuff. I just I just need to know. Like, if, if somebody's wanting me to sanction them dying, then I'll, I'll sanction them dying. <laughs> but I need to know what's up. <laughs> Please show her. <laughs> the shotgun sucks. That splicer was a little bit thuggish. If you kill them, you get more points to spend on your power. Oh, please, please hold. Bioshock. Little sisters. Did you harvest or rescue little sisters? Let's see. What happens if you rescue? Uh, they'll reward you there and then with 80 ADAM which can be used to purchase upgrades. They'll crawl through one of the holes in the wall. They won't be seen again. By rescuing everyone, you'll be rewarded by another character who cares about the girls. Okay. What about harvesting them? They'll kill them. You'll get 160 ADAM for harvesting each one. Double. However, if you continue to rescue everyone you come across, you will be rewarded with the care packages of ADAM and items we mentioned earlier. They'll offer you more ADAM than you'll get by harvesting them all, despite the fact that it gives you an extra 80 ADAM immediately. So we have it's to wait longer for the upgrades. So it's also worth noting that harvesting or rescuing will determine the ending that you get. If you want the good ending, you'll have to rescue every little sister. If you want the bad ending, or you simply don't care, you'll have to harvest them. There's also a dealt with every little sister trophy and achievement that players can get from rescuing or harvesting every single one in the game. From the medical pavilion, there's at least one big daddy and little sister combo, so make sure you're thorough in your exploration. So there you go. I've done both playthroughs, so whatever. I'm, I'm easy. <laughs> uh, what was it? Someone said... Freaky demon human children don't qualify as a protected species for you. They do not. They do not. If these were real children we're talking about? Okay, that's a different story, but it's a game. It's fine. And Queeb's not homicidal in real life as far as I know, so I'm not worried. They, li they deserve to die. They live a terrible existence. <laughs> can even catch grenades and throw them back. Small rock, that would be me. I am his wife, unfortunately, sometimes. Not unfortunately for him, unfortunately for you guys. You have to deal with listening to me. Only sometimes. So do we know what we're going to do? Are we going to kill them or are we going to save them? I'm I'm still torn. I have no idea. What what does it mean by the bad ending? It doesn't mean shit. Okay, then who cares? Stephanie, he's getting pizza. Where is he getting pizza from? Also, please tell him that I saw that. His shorts are made with special magic Mormon fabric or something. And I'm very excited for him. <laughs> Besides Outer Wilds, what was your favorite game of the Queebvin so far? Well, nothing comes close to Outer Wilds. Well, he said besides Outer Wilds. Favorite game? Oh. You did mention that you you were really glad to go back to Returnal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. We finally got the true ending in that. Now that was cool. They still tried to fucking get me DMCA'd with uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. It's, it's part of the game. It plays the song immediately as soon as the credits roll. Small Rog is bringing back memories. Holy shit. Mavis goddamn beacon. Shit. Not a real woman. I believe that. Are you getting Pizza Hut? Oh, Stephanie. What about Papa John's? 
I hear that's pretty good. <laughs> the question is pretty much, do you want to be OP now or do you want to be weak now and OP later? I don't know. I want to be OP for as much as I can be OP. That's where my brain goes as well. Mr. Dallas says, would you kindly save the sisters? No. Why no. am I do this? <laughs> Outer Wilds is amazing. I already beat it though. LOL. Weeb. I think he means Queeb. You're meant to grab items or corpses with the telekinesis plasma, not the alive ones. Stephanie is kindly asking Sergeant Kenai, sir, to get her jalapenos because she is obsessed. Wait, go back. Huh? Meant to grab items or corpses with the tele telekinesis plasma, not the alive ones. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh I had the um, the little jalapeno wraps, Stephanie. They're very spicy. Like like there's like no flavor. It's just all spice. Ah uh, oh Jesus! I I heard of the discussion about the harvester save deal. Harvest is the right way to deal with the sisters because the main character is a born in there. So why he decided to save them, Disco Bay. And the sisters, better content. The fuck was just hitting me then? Just his grenades? Maybe. Stephanie, what is, what is the obsession with beans? I need to know. <laughs> I need to know about the beans. There you go, there's a little sister, Miss Creep. Where? Right there. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's what that is. The, the one in front, carrying the yeah. little... Yeah, oh, uh... I've seen, I've seen the, the two together, and I knew that they were like a pair, and I, I knew like what the big thing was called, but I never knew like the little sisters themselves were an objective. Welcome to the Circus of Value! Is that like the dollar store? Yep! <laughs> See, Stephanie, I wasn't... I wanted to say, but I didn't want to say because I didn't want you to take it the wrong way, but... Okay. Yes. Like that plus the way that you talked about beans, I'm like, I'm white. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about that out loud. Which obviously springs to mind. Who, who, who was the guy? The comedian? Comedian? There's a comedian that, that claimed that he was uh, Mexican and he's not, he's actually German. And he used to call himself a, a beaner constantly. And no, he, he's no not. Idea. I forget his name. He's irrelevant now, apparently. Colt now wants beans. Uh, so I saved them all. I'm a player I chose, not someone in game. Is it a spoiler if I say how to get past that stage? What what stage? Where we are now? Viorlex. Oh Where Jesus, Viorlex! Give me five minutes. Come on, man. Yes, it's a spoiler. I know how to do it. Look, I was killing for fun. I know Louis C.K. is a baby, but it's a kid. Louis C.K. God, you guys can't keep it in your pants. Fuck. 
to free you from the tyranny of the commonplace. Thank you, Carlos Mencia. A new kind of beauty. My Esther, what do you mean? Goddess, symmetry, dear Steinman. It's time we did something about Yeah. There you go, that's my brand new command. I tried to help, but sometimes I oh god. Someone get the nurse. Thank you, Talat. Very kind, dude. Thank you. I was happy watching Dad have fun and places came his way. <laughs> Everything's all good. I wish they would die. I don't like them with their face. The backseat command should auto ban for 20 or 4 hours? No, I disagree. However, if you keep going, you get permanent ban. Like in the case of, uh. Fantasy. That was a fucking travesty. It was a shit show. And at first you were you were upset that I put it on emote only. Like I even told you I'm like, hey, I'm gonna put this chat on emote only. I'm like, no, don't do that. And then finally it just it got to a point where where chat was just It wouldn't stop. And, it was unreal. And I understand, like when you see someone playing your favorite game or a game that you know very well and you see the person playing not playing the way that you have played, you want to help them. Some guy or gal named Monkey Something gifted me sub when I came here, so I have to give it back. Aww. Monkey Something? Monkey No No. Monkey's a cool guy. Now, I do have a legitimate question. How the fuck do I change my plasmids? Can that only be done somewhere? Hmm. Jesus Christ. Combat tonic, static discharge. Makes a, your walking Tesla coil zapping anything and everything foolish enough to strike you. Feel safe. Be safe with static discharge. All right. I figured you need a machine, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if there's no if it's not in the options then we haven't seen that function yet. The shotgun absolutely sucks. I do not like it at all. It's a lot more challenging than I remember. Adam denies us any excuse for not being beautiful. Does any excuse for not being beautiful? Fuck him. No, not a Adam is not a person. Adam is the the stuff we're collecting, the stuff we harvest. I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. What's this guy? An intruder? He's ugly. 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 Look at you. Hideous. <laughs> So who are these guys? Are they like doctors or priests or acolytes or something? This is a doctor. Using quality fingers here.
I got him. Searcher, if I remember correctly, and went batshit crazy from Adam. It's a plastic surgeon who thinks his work is art. They're anti-vaxxers. Oh, Bioshock was my first proper licensed game. Still remember that stupid two-time authorization per disc only? What a nightmare. Oh, yeah, that was a thing back in the day, right? I wanted to be a plastic surgeon when I was younger and I'm an artist, so I always thought if I went crazy, I'd be this guy. Like, there are some plastic surgeons that are just... <sighs> like, they're, they're just fucking crazy. Like, like they believe that... Like, they give everybody the same nose, the same, the same style of, of everything. One of the first games I saw that I thought I can't it can't get any better than this was probably watching my dad play Soul Reaper This fucking hacking game is shit man lot easier on PC. I'm on a PC. You mean with a mouse? It says my sag moon and entices me to be a crazy plastic surgeon. <laughs> Definitely it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> I think that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen for a sag move. I'm a sag son. First protection. If your disc is worn enough, the Star Force will not read your disc and your game is gone. It's just... Yeah, some <laughs> copy, copy protection methods were very extreme back in the day. Still are. Now they require so much power from your computer to even run that uh, it renders some games inoperable on some computers. I think in case of plastic surgery, I think at the very least, like a sag rising or a sag moon would, uh, it would make you think a little bit highly of yourself. It would make you want to elevate yourself to like, like some kind of god tier status. <laughs> Fucking Virgo sign. Holy shit, Stephanie. What the fuck, man? guy. My mom told me to stay away from women who asked what time I was born. <laughs> no, you should run to them. Hey, Sprack. Because they'll be able to literally tell you, like, right then and there if it's gonna work or not. Sprack, hello, how are you? I'm a Scorpio rising, so I'm crazy, but at least I'm... Girl! Virgo Sun, Sagittarius Moon, Scorpio Rising. <laughs> Game Dev Tycoon releasing their own crack version that makes you go bankrupt from piracy. Here we go. This is our first decision. And she's not watching. Watching? Me? No, no, no. Dr. Tannenbaum. 
If you harvest her, you will get maximum atom to spend on plasmids, but she will not survive the process. If you rescue, you get less atom, but Tannenbaum has promised to make it worth your while. All in caps. They don't harvest. Hmm? It's a little late. I've already pressed the button. Yeah, you pressed it after I said something. It's in caps. It's got to be worth it. I did do the right thing. Thank you, Atlas. Mr. Dallas said save. To a child. But there are other little ones who have needed your help. A7. Will you be as cruel to them? If you cross paths with another of them, gatherers garden machines. Make sure you pick up a new plasma or two. That's at the price they do. Gatherers garden machines. Oh. That was convenient. Enrages your target, causing it to attack someone else. Health upgrade. Probably important. Um, armored shell. Reduces all physical damage. Yes. You can never do the evil playthrough of any game? Be the same way. I, I do. I do. I usually try to RP a little bit in my mind when I'm doing that. Like, if I'm creating a character, I tend to create the character ahead of time. How would this person play the game? Um, and it, it gives you more opportunities for different playthroughs and stuff. Oh, that's good too, huh? Eve Link. All oh, right, we've got to select some of these. Got it. Some of these are. Got it. Okay. But we can't. No, this is only for purchasing. Not for swapping out. Golden film re reels. You've unlocked an episode of the director's commentary. Play it now or view it later from the main menu. Spoiler warning. The commentary contains in-depth in -depth discussion of plot details, including the ending. First-time players may wish to complete the game before viewing. No, I did, um, I did several playthroughs of Mass Effect as well. All, all of them, I think. Except for Andromeda. That's another game I was really disappointed with. Miss Queep was, wet and was there for that. Didn't feel like a Mass Effect game. Kevin Levine tried hard, but Queep decided all this harvest save deal is shit and he harvests them all ah petra you'll be fine it would be fun to play a game like this and do one run that is specifically directed at being evil mm -hmm. that's generally what i do yeah <laughs> Why? Do I need to change my mind about the whole homicidal thing? What do you mean? No, 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 like, <laughs> I was agreeing with you. Play oh, one okay. as evil and then one as, one as good, or vice versa. Oh, right. I forgot this fight comes now. Wow. 
This is a lot more difficult than I remember, for sure. Yeah. No, Mr. Bubbles. Oh, that's right. You start with... Got it. I forgot about that. That's what Vita Chambers do. It's not a, it's not a, re a checkpoint as such. It's a... Uh... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm still in shit. We have a do we have a visitor, Miss Queep. Oh my god. Why are you wet, son? I was looking for, for rats in the water. You going for a swim? There's no rats in there. Damn. He is all over the shop, huh? Well, then you gotta eat. <laughs> He's dusty, yeah. Son, you gotta eat. You do that for mama. lot less shiny yeah when I said dusty I didn't mean actually covered in dust I meant like he's starting to go into shit mm -hmm. yeah. uh, like, artist will know what I'm talking about he's not a blue based gray he is a a warm or a purple based gray so whenever his grays on his side start looking uh, like they start to go blue, then that's how we can tell he's about to go into shed. Um, also his color on his on his spine is like extremely bright. It's because all that pigment is coming up to the surface. Yes, Talat, this is Huxley. He sheds every the like typically ball pythons will shed every six to ten weeks. Um, he sheds every four weeks because he. He normally eats a lot. He hasn't been eating though. Um, it's just it's time for him to to shed because he's a he, he's kind of a heifer. Maximus, Maximus, Decimus, Meridius. I was about to say you're not that far away. Whenever he like gets back on like a, on an eating schedule, then uh. Then we'll schedule something for you to come out and you can like see him. And that'll also give me time to get the the boys up to snuff. So you can hold Huxley and Murph. Probably not Faye. <laughs> Probably not Ripley. Funny how it, it it's the girls that you wouldn't be able to handle. <laughs> That's every 20 days for you Americans. <laughs> uh, kind of curious what do you... We feed them frozen thawed rats. 
Um, so whenever you feed them, you make sure that the rat isn't bigger than the biggest part of him. Maybe when he eats it, you want it to look like a slight bulge. If you ever see a snake and it has like a comical bulge, like it looks like someone drew it, um, that means that he was overfed. They have not been fed on stream. I believe that's against TOS. So eh, I don't think it is, but no. Nothing. Yeah. So it's it's not worth it. Also, it's um, it, it's not entertaining. What kind is? Like it's it. it's entertaining when the babies eat because they they don't understand how to grip yet, and so like sometimes Ripley she'll just like bite the head and fall over. <laughs> Because she's so excited, she doesn't rap. I want a pet snake and tarantula, but Chris is spooked. All I'm going to say, Stephanie, do your research. You get comfortable with it, and then you make the decision. Last June, well, it was like last March or April, I told Queeb, I'm getting a snake. I'll make sure that, like, it's a snake that that can be handled by you if you want to, but it's my responsibility. I'm going to do everything for it, but I'm getting a snake. And at first he wasn't really on board. And once he started learning about them, he was. And when he saw Huxley, he fell in love with them. And three days later, we bought our second snake. But had I not, had we not had that discussion, we, we wouldn't have snakes right now. And I would still be wanting one. So get one if you want one. I think an easier pet to have would be a tarantula, but the poofy hair has been banned them from the house. We probably won't get uh, a tarantula of any kind. That's let let me get used to having a snake first. It's only been a year and a half. It's a lot. Uh, ball pythons are not venomous. They, which means that they do not have fangs. They have teeth, but no fangs. Imagine, oh, stop. Oh my God, a fluffy snake. Oh, it'd be like a ferret. Oh my God. Dad. Be careful. Dad. No thoughts, head empty. I, in that classification, there are only a couple. I don't believe there's any here in America. Like out of, out of the whole of the, of uh, Python a day, there's like maybe two or three. And I believe they are Australian. You want to go? He was digging in a substrate. It's like, sweetie, you had a rat. You've had seven rats. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I'm going to put him back. Yeah. Dead. It's, it's only a few days left of rat fin. I haven't received a rat yet. Son, you've had seven. I know, but I need more. They weren't the right kind. She tried to feed me one that was black and white yesterday. I freaked out. Okay, I will be right back. Hey, 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 hey. Give me a sec. Snake hot tub stream when... Oh boy. Okay. Thank you very much, Risk of Rain soundtrack. Do they... Are they still hostile?
waste. Fucking hell. Is it is the arrow leading me to them? Yeah, maybe. There you are. Yeah, so they're passive again. Same amount of health though. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bubbles. All right. Where'd you go? It's cool how they can roam around. I dig that. Yeah, electric, electric buck is nice. We'll save that. Now, how about some of that health we were talking about before? Cure all. Hmm. Virolix, enough, dude. Just let's 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 just sit back and watch. Turrets seem to be the biggest threat in the game, huh? Too bad. Well, not, not turrets, but I guess robot defenses. times I've played this? I don't know, half a dozen. But we're talking over a decade ago. So auto hack doesn't work on safe, so... Fuck, I hate this minigame. Oh, 
Anything good? 16 doll hairs. That's pretty good. So they do, they do respawn? Telekinesis for? Yeah, I think so. Ah, shit. Right. Got it. Fuck. Another safe. Oh yeah, we ain't getting into that one. Auto hack. There you go. Done. Will you be playing the sea? Oh, I have no idea, dude. Wrench jockey. Yes, please. Yep. Um, these would be both very good, actually. But I'll keep armored shell for now. We go and get strong today. Oops. Wrong one. Can't you hit me through the wall? Excuse me? Alright, other than the rocket launcher, we are good to go here. Run. Oh, there was something shiny there, though. Fuck me, that scared. What is it? It's ammo. Homing. Okay, cool. Cool tech, man. Hitting through walls? Yeah. So where's this fucking little sister then? Chomper's dental office key. Fuck off. Chomper's Dental. That's Chomper's Dental? Well, that's Painless Dental. I guess it's the same thing. You call that tenderloin. If you serve that in any respectable hotel... Yeah, Violix, again, I, I don't know, dude. I can't answer that. I've only, I've only decided to bring back three games thus far. Three games? Two games? Three games. Inscription. The uh, roguelike mod for that. Um, Returnal. And Into the Breach. We do have a map. Gatherer's Garden. 
Dandy Dental. There's not more than one dental office, clearly. Was there a key in here? Yeah, Kino, that's that's fine, dude. I'm assuming they head back towards the little, uh, the little shoots. Supply, not open. Painless dental. There is two, two different dental offices. Can I get through the window? What happens like so we killed the big daddy but the the little sister wasn't around so what happens to that specific one we have to wait till later to recover Speedy hacker. They hide in the vents in the wall. So you can straight up miss some? Or they do come back out eventually? Plenty of memes made about Infinite, right? About how uh, is a Booker that his name? All he does is eat. It's hilarious. Maybe you're under something there, Steph. <laughs> Welcome to the Circus of Values! Right. They also, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking couple of hundred. Okay, there's another one. I hear it. I can't take one on one on one, though. Especially with no Eve. Welcome to the of Values. Must be hacked to access. Oof. I'm 
I'm sorry, what the fuck just happened there? Fuck this game. What is shooting? What? Oh shit, it's you again. Nah, run. It's a lot, yes. It's other games we've played during the event. Got it. Fucking hell. So angry. Alright, back to the shotgun we go. There we go. It's like a Christmas calendar, but with games. Yes. Fuck me, that was brutal. Alright, well that's two for two in this zone. Very expensive, by the way. Yeah, I didn't I didn't remember anywhere near as many respawning as well. Maybe I was on an easier difficulty, I don't know. Or the or the game has been changed somewhat. And I love the way later on, once you have many more options, you can choose to do things in a certain order or there are different, uh, different mechanisms for solving puzzles. I like that. Machine gun's good. Machine gun seems to be our strongest weapon at the moment. Alright, let's follow the arrow now, I guess. Unless we've missed a zone. Painless dental we still haven't been in. Looks like there's a path we haven't found yet as well. Where are we? If I head left from here, 
we can get to gatherer's garden again and then head up to the surgery there's a section there we haven't opened Okay, I think we found our first crash. How dare we, and me, how dare me for opening the map. Completely locked out. Completely, lately locked out. It's hijacked my screen. Okay. Bioshock. That was uh that was fun. I don't think I want to play anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised um that so many bugs still exist with that. That's that's mind blowing to me. Shame. Oh, well, we'll do a run of Into the Breach instead. All right. New game. Sorry, folks. I was really excited about that. I guess we learnt. Rusting hulks. Weather manipulators. I wouldn't mind trying Rift Walkers again, actually. It'd be pretty cool. Ramming speed. Kill an enemy five or more tiles away with a dash punch. We can do that. I saved the world once. I can do it again. All right. Settle down. Uh, who do we want to put you in? Probably in the Titan. Starting shields. Taurus Cannon. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right. I'm still getting used to it, um, but it's a very, very good game. Civilians of the past had a military strength vastly exceeding ours. Good thing we preserved some of their old war machines. Alright. Hmm. 
you are flying is the problem. So we can take that out. That's good. Oh, this is a train one. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. He's got to move. Let's punch him first. Train ones are very difficult. Two health, two health. Your weapon, sir. One damage, but pushes, and you also one damage, but pushes. I could put an artillery. No, I can't, unfortunately. Well, yes, I could. I could move artillery here, launch an artillery here, which would push this guy into that, doing one damage each. Then we could get rid of one. Yeah, that's that's something we can do. And then we get rid of this guy. Cool. Not bad. Yep, same musician, by the way. Oh, this ain't good. Um, this ain't good at all, actually. The train is going to take a hit. I have not managed to save a train yet. victory condition here. One health. Alright. You dead? One health. One health. Ah, shit. Undo, undo, undo. Reset. Right. Artillery here. Punch. Okay. That's good. Good. The train might actually fucking survive. It's a turn-based strategy game. Um, it's all about using your units to your advantage and making sure it's very strategic. 
uh, when it comes to uh, your order of operations. So, top right, you can see the order in which things happen. Um, fire damage takes place first, then enemies uh, get their shot, then NPCs do whatever, in this case it's the train, and then enemies emerge. We're on the last turn right now. Um, so there will not be any emerging enemies, which is great. So we should have this quite easily, actually. The train's already completely safe. Um, you go for a punch. Um... This guy here, you can see what their moves do. There's a little example. So it has a direct line of sight. And the main thing we need to do is to protect these buildings because this up here is our overall power grid. If this reaches zero, we lose a run. This is my grid defense. So it's a, an 18% chance if one of these buildings gets hit, it doesn't take damage. Uh, let's just move out of the way. No need to attack anything here. No, it's almost impossible to kill everything. Although it is a bonus sometimes. But there you go. When you reach the end of the run, enemy runs away. And we get two stars. The stars we can use to power up our dudes. And this one here, for example, if we protect a power generator, we get one power grid back. So we get plus one up here. Very worthwhile doing these. Because that becomes super important later. Bonus objectives. Destroy the dam. Take less than three grid damage. You want me to destroy the dam? Destroying it will let the river reclaim the land and delay the Vec. Won't it flood out the... Okay. Who am I? Seems like a very dangerous thing to do, but I'll give anything a shot once. That's the that's the generator we need to defend. So much fucking HP, wow.
pretty good. Two health, huh? Hmm, this is for for the greater good situation. He's dead, which is fine, but he's not dead, which is a problem. He's going to take one damage on the next one. Oh, I need to get in the way here. rough man he's dead next turn if we don't take him out shit I may have screwed this one didn't realize he was that strong all right reset turn Artillery will still... No, it won't. Taking out the dam might have been a bad idea. We still get two damage, I think, with him. It's not enough. <laughs> Fuck. That's as good as losing two. Can't attack from in the water. Yeah. 
push the beetle into the water. If we could have gotten on the other side of him, yeah. Oh, am I dead here? Fuck, I think I'm dead here. About to be dead. Oh, this is a cluster. Wow. Can't even get him now. So destroying the dam should have been a last a last minute thing rather than uh Oh well, we win. Yeah, should have done that later. I didn't realise that was the what the dam was gonna do. That's the first time I've seen them. No, killed in action. Sorry, Elizabeth Waller. Need two power upgrades there. Gotta try to earn one back. Take less than three grid damage. Protect the coal plant. This one's got mines in it, which I think help us more than hurt us, maybe. We will see. Pod as well. Oof. Okay. What are my back seating preferences? I don't mind ideas. have always have my button on standby this one sucks um Take a hit. Take a hit. Yep, 
There you go again. Ah, nice. going to be a pain. Good job. Good job. I've seen a show called The Expanse. I have not. Three being attacked, and I'm stuck here. What's the proper way to open these, Miss Queef? You peel them? 
No, I think it's just a fucked packaging. Good luck. And there we go. It's not too bad. take a hit here um just hope for an 18 percent save Reactor core, love it. Push adjacent tiles when repairing, that's pretty dope. Defend the satellite launches. Vec a threat. Defend the tanks. Hmm. Okay. It's a lot. I watch my own shows, dude. His Queeb watches her shows.
Oh. Oh, okay. I got it. What's that shadow? Yeah, it's impending doom. Oh, that's a little troublesome. We can't be taking three damage.
Monkey Lawn Gnome. Take it easy, dude. Go figure. Greater good, son. For the greater good. Mm, that's not actually going to help us, is it? Hmm. Satellites can take one hit. These? I don't know whether that qualifies as defending them. I'm... maybe. Problem is they're not under attack right now. Well, this last one isn't. This one has to die no matter what, because I don't I do not want to lose this pilot. Wait, we have a push with a repair? That's right, we do. Ah, it still doesn't help me. So I'm thinking this guy here kills this, so he's freed. He then runs around behind this, moves this guy over so this building doesn't get attacked. Then we got this guy. We could, in theory, stay here and block this. Um, but there's no situation where even a push here would move this over to this square and then he would still attack this building here. Rocket goes after the enemy. I 
artillery fire on day three. That accomplishes nothing. This guy would stay in place. Uh, he'd take one damage. This guy would get bumped over to here and still be attacking a building. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a hit. I can't do a lot about that. ET Fish, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. goes last if it was first we we would get a uh, no damage win here and I'm gonna lose a mech in the process What's the alternative? Hold up. I can still lose the mech, but maybe get a no damage here. We move this guy to here, shoots him. He takes two damage now. Dead. He protects that. Um... Wait, wait, wait. We've still got the shot here. So I, I move this guy to here. Sorry, Zara. That's indeed your real name. That also moves me over. That doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Punch here. You shoot here. Messy, but it'll do. Glad I moved this guy over to here, actually. This destroy the Firefly leader and protect the corporate tower. 
Sounds easy, it is not. The mech, yeah, the mech survives, I guess. Um, and then you lose a pilot. Um, the pilots are very important because they have special abilities when they level up. And then at the end of a run, if you're successful, you can, or I think even if you fail, you can choose a, um, a pilot to take with. Only, only one, though. Why do I have a feeling he's going to jump over to here? I just, I got a feeling. They've only got one health. Thank God. See this bubble? That's coming from the pilot. Okay, not too bad. That's kind of bad. Oh, fancy. Okay. Four damage. Fuck. <laughs> Got it. Hmm. Nice one. So we're going to take a hit here on a building. Uh, well, we don't have to. Two health. set on the first go. Fuck. Well, no, I can take a hit here. He can. He's utterly, utterly useless, unfortunately. Play it out. him you kill him by using one of him his health bars do you hold up he's got to move and we got to do a lot of damage so might as well get this guy in. Okay. A 
as much as I would like to push him back to block this one. It might be a good idea. I must still take a hit though. Eh, we lose one mech. Whatever. It's an important one to lose, though. Good. Less good. Really fucking bad. Okay, this has to happen again. another one hit on him so that we'll lose one it's honestly not too bad This was the long range, this was the direct. Um, sorry, flip that. Bosses as killers as lesser bugs? If we can, I will, for sure. Just rather take him out. Just keep moving into place. Okay. We win after this turn.
That was alright. Not too sad about that. Oh, I got an achievement called Good Samaritan. Grappling hook. Very good item. Building's immune to artillery. Oh, well, hang on. Hang on. Shield ally upgrade? Fuck off. How strong is that? <laughs> I would actually like to give you more health, actually. Something. Do it. Area secure, Captain. I'd like to go down and do the fourth island if we can this time. It's one I usually skip. Seven enemies, a coal plant protected. Destroy two mountains, kill at least seven enemies. I don't want to destroy two mountains. Oh, okay, there's a couple already broken. Tough enemy. Real tough. Fuck. Shielded. Oh, you just happened to stand right in front of me, huh? You sure you want to do that? I mean, okay. Free health. He's got to go sooner, sooner rather than later. Um, this is a problem. Bump damage, ignore armor. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so he'll take... He's not protected. These guys are. He just... All he does is give a passive. 
doesn't have it himself. And it looks like it went down first, which is kind of good. We can push him out of the way. We've got a couple of options here. And I think I know what to do. It's a shame. Okay, we can move back. That's fine. So we're going to go and collect this. Because that's how we do. I'm going to bump you out of the way. I'm going to move back one. Seven enemies. Alright. Oh, fuck. That's bad. Thank you for standing there, though. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. You're dead. You take one. I can push you out of the way. here. If I do this right, we're safe. We don't launch directly on him. I'm going to move him first. I could grapple out, but that's my move done. Well, not worth. How far can you move? One, two, three. Fuck. One, two. Oh, I can't do it. I have to do it from way back here. And that's fine. Okay. Yep, you there. gonna take a hit buildings protected I fucking hate these things so bad We're starting to get a little bit overwhelmed here. You're going to tank another hit? Oof. I have a lot of choices here. He's got to take out that. You have to shoot him. And I have to push him. Ugh. I 
Repair pushes. I wanted to kill. But yes, that is that is a fact. Would have actually been alright to do that. Uh, in that case, we have to do it in a different order. Repair pushes. Fucking genius, sir. And our body's dead anyway. Amazing. Amazing brain on you, friend. That's four dead. So pushing you will help. Pushing you won't do shit. We need to get rid of that. So artillery is going to go here. Push this to here. He's dead. Eventually, we still take a hit. That's fine. So maybe repair push is not the way to go here. Hold up, hold up, let's try. Push this one over. He can then get out. It's not really the best move. I could just detonate that. And that will push me into him. And we can finish the job. That's two damage we're going to take. I got to start hammering that guy. Oh shit, I don't even think I can get... I got to get three kills here. I think I can. If I could get this guy around the other side... Move him one over, it'd be perfect. I don't think I can. No. Three kills, right? This doesn't count, does it? Pretty sure it doesn't.
So do we destroy instead of move then? Destroy that. Then he can go. Uh, well, that's pointless. I'm not going to get all the kills. I need this guy to take out him because I can't do it myself. And the only alternative to that would be... No, no, no. I know I know that doesn't count. And I know if we kill, but that's just the thing. There's, there's only three enemies left. It was foolish of me to block one of the... One of the slots. It means we have to kill everything, including our three health dude over here. And I got no way to take him out. No, I can do that. Okay, so we'll forget that objective. That's okay. We still get one grid power back. So. Um, yeah, let's just make it safe. Get a pod too. Oh, another power. Any class weapon. Heal all player units, including disabled mechs. Repair drop. One use per battle. One mech reactor. Very nice. Understood. I can't remove these once they're in, right? No. Ah, I forgot I got the dash too. Right, we gotta kill something with the dash. Five tiles away. That's ridiculous. How good is that? Um, let's give you... More health. Yeah, I know. Seismic activity. I love those. Terraform the grassland back to desert. Geothermal station. High threat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. These are fun. Go 
very difficult. Very fun. Ugh! That's fucking bullshit straight away. That's really messed up. Okay. If they both go straight for that, I'm I'm gonna have words. That's really rough. Hopefully they have decent health. Nope. Fucking worse. <laughs> ah, good. Wow. God damn. Robotics lab is our, our primary here. I would like the two stars though. Kind of good. the mountain push it forward that's that's dumb now let's say goodbye to one building Fuck. 
We're losing so many fucking buildings here, it's insane. I think that's game over. <laughs> that's a brutal stage, man. Oh, wow. Through the Renfield bomb. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I can't get far enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe. Bomb's gone. Wait. game over. Ah. Uh, why did I think he was going to not be there? Should have pulled him first. Oh, I wish I could reset again. Oh, well. It was a good effort. Mm -mm. 
I have not gotten a win with the base unit. Yeah, the, the starting units. Select one pilot. Mech reactor. Push adjacent tiles. Shield, three grid def, one mech move. That push might be more beneficial than the shield. Ah, uh, no, nah, Bethany's... No, nah, we'll stick with Bethany. I think that's all I got time for tonight, folks. Shame about bio, um, Bioshock. I'm really bummed about that. Um, let's see who is currently streaming, if anyone. Hopefully we got someone tonight. My buddy Mistwalker is playing... A new old game, it says. Okay. Okay. Let's raid in on Misty. He's a good guy. Thank you. Again, folks, have a great night. Um, I am going to watch... Um, some speedruns tonight. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, 5pm. Take it easy, folks. Have a good one.